Ahoyo, ahoyo. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Pearl the Otter, and I am your sea otter uh, sea captain for this grind order cruise. <laughs> hello, hello, everybody. Uh, I would first of all like to thank uh, Piconi, Piconi for the five months, currently on a four-month streak aboard our uh, lovely cruise line, which means somebody gets five kisses. <laughs> and uh, I will be doing a couple shout outs for Boko Pico Pali as well as the Arcand who made our sweet background music. Now we are not using it currently. Uh, I will be uh, shoving it, you know, in into when the debut happens. Uh, but please check out his Twitter. Check out his Twitter. It is it's good. It's banging. I love it. I love it so much that I like cried. I actually cried in the club. <laughs> so, Boku Pico Pali and The Arcand, my favorite music man. Please check him out if you haven't already. Much love. Also, hello, Yui. Hello. Hello, Izumi. Thank you so much. Did, did you really? Did I really what? I'm stupid. What I do? What I do? <laughs> I don't know what I did. What did I do? Did you really cry? Yes, I cried. I cried. I cried in the club physically. I was emotionally overcome by how adorable this look. This it's honestly. I could not have asked for anything better. And then and then I went and washed the wall. Did I tell you I changed my username yet? No, you did not. But I see there's a oo on there. So I think I know who you are. But I can't say the first part. So I'm just going to call you oo But yeah, no. Uh, I watched the VOD. I watched Ark's VOD specifically because I love to watch him work on music. I love how his brain works sometimes. Um, and I love how I almost picked out everything on the first listen that I was like, man, I like this, 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 and this. And then I went back to watch the VOD and I was like, oh, I almost got everything. I almost got it. I almost had a bingo. <laughs> my, I have good ears. They are excellent on top of my head. I understood most of this. <laughs> but it was crafted with such... With such love and the fact that you were like not feeling the best when you made it and it like turned your day around. I cried. I cried like a big baby. I did. I'm glad that working working on Fuen Pearl background music lifted your spirits. I did. I'm I'm very proud. I'm very happy. You was the end lord. Ah, so you were the artist formerly known as the Cow Lord, then the End Lord, and now there's an Uwu. I see. So you are not the other Uwu when in doubt making something neat and gets day brighter. Well then, welcome, artist now known as Uwu, because I can't say the first word because Twitch will be upset at me. <laughs> but I am I am glad that your day got better, because all I want at the end of at the end of every day is for friends to be happy mm -hmm. also uh, i do have a bit of news uh, if you've not been paying attention in the discord uh our votes for what we have been doing for our community night well nights uh this this upcoming weekend of saturday plus sunday uh we will be on saturday we will be doing a movie and uh, Sunday, we will be playing. We will be playing some games. So if you are a part of the Discord and you have not voted, you get two votes for what movie you want to watch this Saturday. This Saturday at noon CST, we will be watching a movie. Please, you are only allowed to vote two movies, because if we just vote for every movie, then there's a tie for all the movies, and that's not. Look, we ain't doing this for eight hours, guys. <laughs> hello, oppressor. Hello, oppressor. Yes. And if you are not part of the Discord, uh, everybody who is subscribed, feel free to connect your Twitch to your Discord to uh, get access to the SS Otter Worldly Discord. Mm -hmm. uh, CST is Central Standard Time or Standard Daylight Savings Time for CDT. Uh, yes. 
Uh, it is it is part of the the big middle section of the the time zone, the one where it's two hours ahead of uh, Seattle time, one hour behind Eastern time. Uh, we we don't have the Discord as a link part. You have to connect your Twitch to your Discord. It's right now only for subscribers until after debut, which is kind of why we do Discord stuff for for subscribers. A big thank you. Uh, for everybody who has been supporting me for this long. <laughs> right here, about to do it. All right. I hope you are because we we there's movies. And then on Sunday, we will be playing a, a medley of games. We will be doing things like Jackbox, Scribbly IO, uh, Gartic Phone, lots of silliness. Also, uh, we have an additional thing. Um, I have a question for everybody. Um, basically, also, if, if you have any gift subs, if any gift subs, if you got a gift sub, you are also able to connect it that way. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a question. So, Sunday starts on the 8th, the, 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 the eight one. It is the first day and it is Sunday. It is also the first day of the Merlin, the Merlin drop banner for Fate Grand Order for Summer 4. So... Do we all want me to be patient and wait till uh, and stream the next Sunday, or do you want, or do you want me to do that in the Discord and have Discord only get to see me cry, Merlin? I want to, I want to know the honest opinions of everybody. Otter whale time. <laughs> yes, otter cry over Merlin. Otter pulls out the bank account. <laughs> The crying wallet emote becomes a thing. <laughs> so I would I would actually like to to gather some uh, information on that, just real quickly. Ah, welcome, welcome aboard, Ara Onesan, to the SS Otterworldly Traveler. Speaking of which, I should uh go ahead and welcome aboard everybody who came last time. So please give me a moment as I uh, get out the uh, the roster. Uh, so I would like to go ahead and welcome the anime boy, uh, Dead Stinny Six Six Embassy Seven One Six E Pug Misfit House Eternix uh, Funny McBurr and Updaters, as well as of course. Ara Onesan, welcome, welcome aboard to the SS Otterworldly Traveler. All of you, please enjoy your vacations. Thank you guys so much for the follows. Honestly, it means the world to me that you'd even uh, stop by and say hello. So, welcome, welcome, Pim Mastery. Welcome, welcome. Uh, that is that is all of the housekeeping that Captain had this morning, essentially. <laughs> uh, so, we'll go ahead and get to the game. We will get to voice acting the game. Roll down. That being a butt. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We are getting we are getting in on this fate grind order. Essentially, which is just uh, me crying and uh, being like, throw Edmund Dante's at it. If I have questions, I just throw Edmund at it. I'm just like you. You go, bear. Green means go. Do do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. I am super cute. You're super cute. Seriously, all everybody here is a cutie. That's that is that is not a question. That is a statement. <laughs> hello, Ducket. Hello, hello. <clears throat> okay, so last time that we were here, uh, Aja, uh, the uh, the this uh, adorable girl's father got hurt because we uh, we in fact. We, we taught all uh, the villagers how to fight. We, we taught them how to fight back the uh, Kali monsters. Except then they all went uh, DBZ, like, let's, let's just combine and make, like, one big, extremely angry Kali monster. And then it, like, started wreaking havoc during uh, this, which is the, the worst Yuga, the worst part of the Yuga. All the bad shit happens. And so, hopefully, uh, I... I, I don't want to hope because I know you and I both know you you chat and I know 
that if uh, if it is considered broken or useless, that when Arjuna remakes the world, they, they disappear. They get overwritten like they never existed and people forget about them. So we are we are honestly a little heartbroken because Aisha lost Vihan, which was her dog, in the in the first big reset. And this is like the second big reset that we've we've seen. And um we're we're thinking that she's gonna lose her father. And uh it is it is time for the big crying because I feel like she knows that that's going to happen, that she's going to lose him. And so it is, it is the big Sag time. <clears throat> and so now welcome to me playing voice acting the game. Uh, father fell asleep after I took him to the healer. That means he'll be okay, right? I wonder if there's something I can do to help. <clears throat> Welcome, welcome. Hello, Raz. I see you. I see you. Hi, hi. That's a lot of waves. That's a very ecstatic wave. Our uh, our bartender is up. Uh, feel free to go up on deck seven and enjoy some lovely refreshments. You want to help? I don't know. You are still just a child. We cannot give you a sword. There aren't many other weapons you could use safely. You you can pray, of course. Go go on. Close your eyes. Pray, pray as hard as you can for God to help. <laughs> You're at work though, so you'll send your clone. All right, send in the clones. You know, at we weren't supposed to let them know about the clones that Doctor Luxia made beforehand, but I guess it's time now. Guess cat's out of the bag. Cat cloner is out of the bag. <laughs> All of your DNA samples have been taken by Doctor Luxia. <laughs> Uh, hello, hello. Did you, did you change your name again? You changed it again. How many times are you going to change your name? It is definitely interesting. I cannot, I cannot even read that. I don't know all that. I don't know all those, all of the uh, katakana. Hmm. All right, this is a uh, William Tell. Uh, he was he was who we were fighting last time, and we destroyed him. But apparently, people do not die when they are killed if it's in Fate Grand Order, because apparently this bitch came back. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm like, that's not fair. Everybody else dies. Why do you get to come back? Look out, Master! It's William Tell. Oh, so you're coming to face us yourself this time. Actually, this is about the distance I prefer to operate from. Besides, this is the climax of the hunt. I can't just pass up a chance like this when my quarry is already weak and exhausted. Hunter doesn't feel bad about bringing down their prey. We feel quite accomplished. <clears throat> we are in a difficult position, having uh, fought so many Kali and, of course... Uh, as Clefius, I would much rather we had had time to recover before our next showdown with the one known as William Tell. I'm sure you'd like that, but the thing about Hunters is that we don't let our quarry escape. Yeah, that's that's Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes is helping us. He is essentially our uh, our uh, our explainer and our our thinky brain. While uh, we also have Leonardo da Vinci, or uh, as we like to call her, kind of Lolly da Vinci. Um. Because there used to be there used to be Da Vinci Caster. She is now Da Vinci Rider because she is technically a clone of the Caster Da Vinci. Because she died. She got murdered. Before Lost Belts. Like, when the Lost Belts happened. Yeah, she got murdered. <laughs> she do did the die. Because, uh, Priest, Priest Man, who we thought was Rasputin, who is definitely not Rasputin, murdered her. Um, so we, we have her as kind of our, like, onboard computer system who, who runs our base known as the Shadow Border. And, uh, we also have our director, who is Gordio, who essentially is just a, um, a very uppity man. 
Very, very uppity, but well-meaning man. Traps, wind, climate, scents, bait. When we decide to bring down a target, we make sure to use whatever it takes. And uh, if we let a wounded animal get away, well, there's no greater shame than that. Well, when that happens, we just have to accept that it's God's will and resign ourselves to going to bed with an empty stomach. Hello, Shadow King. Hello, hello. It's going well. Uh, we just started. Uh, we are continuing our excursion into the Indian Lost Belt. Hopefully, we get to beat another boss today. So, that's uh, we we grind. We gonna grind him into dust. I'm gonna tika him out. Looks like it's time to beat ass. That's what it's time for. Right. We'll just have to settle things here and now. Master. If he has yet to fully recover from the last battle, you still have a chance. Though it won't be as easy a fight by any means. So hang in there. Well. <clears throat> well. At least we don't have to worry about him going sniping at us from an extreme range now. Hello, hello, Sai. Lovely to see you here. Hello. Our silent knight. Modern, modern black armor definitely doesn't have a bonk hammer. But hello, it's wonderful to see you, Bow. Bow, pow, 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 pow. Words hard. Brain, brain go burr. Words hard. But he can still control the wind as he likes, thanks to Vino. Keep your guard up. Pearl, there's no telling how he's going to shoot arrows at us next. Yeah, last time, last time we had, uh, I'm trying to think of what's her name is. Lakshmi taking all the arrows for us. We are, we are having a hard time because with all these local Pala, i.e. all of the, uh, the bosses that are here, they have this permanent debuff, which means that, uh, basically all of the power-ups that we have plus NP generation is lowered. Basically, we just don't feel right here, and uh, it's kind of hard to get past that kind of uh, bit of a problem. So, we are going to uh, hope and pray this is enough. It's probably not going to be a full loop, but it's only a two section, so we're not going to have to worry about it so much. But these are the sacred beasts. These are the beasts that Arjuna, or God Juna, are sending at us. Because he wants us to perish. And they're supposed to, to take away all of the, the things that are unnecessary or unuseful or things that have died. And uh, William Tell is one of the local Pala, which we have defeated before. But apparently, you can't keep this bitch down. And uh, I don't, I don't be appreciating that, especially since he's got a uh, congratulations, you, uh, you can't hit me button. Not a big fan of that neither. So we've got a, uh, we got Edmund here with the one time I can go through anything. I don't care. Chateau de, Chateau de Duf. And it do be doing the break bar. So I'm hoping that that will get rid of the, uh, that very unfortunate, um, ad, not ad, the, the, this thing, the protection of Vonner chance. Oh, it's just a chance to reduce damage to zero. It's a chance. It's not guaranteed. Oh, man, I thought it was just, like, you had to have sure hit. And I was going to be like, all right, time for me to fucking cry because I only got one of those times. Nah, nah, nah. Time for us to beat ass. Let's go. Green, green go burr. Green make go. I'm a loop-de-loop -loop and pull. This bitch gonna die. Hello, man. Hello, hello, little putty. Little putty. Little putty. Hello, hello. Oh, see there. He uh he did in fact get that one to go away. Dang. 
We we missed one. Big sad. Let's uh let's hope that this will be enough. Come on, no chance. Let R and Jesus be on my side. Come on, let Edmund go, Burr. Ah shit, he evaded. He evaded the big one. That's not fair. Ah, uh, evade again. Oh, it's a full evade turn. You suck. You know what? William tell you to fuck off. That's more like it. Come on. Don't don't you evade again. Cuz I'm gonna be mad. There we go. Okay, that's bullshit. What is what is this chance? Chance is more like 50% likely to just not care. All right. Well, here it goes. Here's me hoping. Come on. Slap him. Thank you. You know what? Tell William tell you to fuck off. We beat you up. I don't care. We won. Screw your wind buff. Damn it! Like, none of my attacks are landing! Every time I think we have him, he just slips through again. He's just too damn good at controlling the positioning for this fight. I, I can't read his arrow's trajectory. It's taking everything I have just to defend against him. Yeah, Tepe, you're right. William Tell got the power to run past me, hide underneath a blanket, and then shoot me in the back. More... Look, sir, 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 come fight me like a man. Don't you sit there hiding, hiding behind a blanket, being an asshole. <clears throat> he must be causing the wind god's power to control the flight path. We can't even tell where he's firing from. This must be what it's like to be cornered animal. But we can't let him bring us down. It bears us asking, I think. Can you draw his fire towards yourself like you did before? Blanket do be comfy, though. But Blanky cannot protect you from uh, me throwing my hands. Blanky cannot protect you from the power of my hands. I will I will throw them. I do not think so. The situation is too different. At this point, there's no way I could reverse concentrate all the different possibilities. No matter how hard I push the goddess's divine core. I see. I'm not sure why that is, but I'm glad to hear it all the same. At least, no. Now. We won't have to rely on a cowardly strategy where you'll end up hurt. And all I can do is stand back and watch, angry at myself for being so helpless. There you go again. Hang on, Lady Lakshmi. I, I will help you. Stop. That won't work on him. My non-mystical attacks will just... Oh, no. <clears throat> Damn. Sorry about that. I, uh, I wasn't ordered to hurt any civilians. Shit, is it going to be put on my report? Sir William, you are not small as snake. The otter will strangle you. <laughs> yeah, sir, these hands ready to eat for everybody. That includes your ass. These hands ready to eat for Edmund. Look, uh, I, but I couldn't help the reflex, you know, return fire when he shot at me. Look, uh, can this not be on my report? Uh, nope, nobody tell God Juno that I shot a civilian. You know, it's fine. We'll just scrub the camera footage. It's aight. It's aight. Have to say, though, that's uh, pretty impressive for a handmade crossbow. Even so, you shouldn't be going around uh, firing at a real hunter. Damn it. There's got to be some way we can defeat him. Uh, welcome, welcome aboard Atomic Otter 227. Hello, welcome aboard to the SS Otter Worldly Traveler. Please enjoy your vacation. Thank you so much for the follow. I'm happy to have another otter. Please join join the raft party. Let's go. We are we are doing we are doing fate grind order. I uh lost belt number four India, and hopefully we will be getting ourselves to another boss today. Cause I'm uh, I feel like I woke up and I chose violence this morning. I don't know who this is, so I will just be reading this in my normal voice. <clears throat> As I kept walking, 
I got more and more anxious. What if... Oh, this is Aisha! So I can, actually, I do know who the voice of this. What if... What if father ends up dying? He remembered my birth anniversary and everything. He, he said he wanted to celebrate with me. And just for an instant, I'm even pretty sure he patted my head earlier. What do I do? How can I make sure everyone ends up happy? Is there any way for my father to get better? For Kelly to go away and to all of us to go on to the next Yuga together? Then I remembered that nice travelers. The ones who seem like gods, but they aren't. If the only thing I can do is pray, I'd rather pray to them. Besides, they know all sorts of things. Hello, hello, Dragoo. It's lovely to see you. I've been well. Uh, we are doing some fate grand order. We are going through the story, and I do lots of voices. That's essentially the name of the game. <clears throat> Maybe they'll know how to fix my father's injury. I'll, I'll go look for them. Oh, no, Aisha. Aisha, honey, don't come over here. Bad things are happening here. I do not want you to die. You're too precious for the dead to be the die. I, I didn't know what was going on, but I could tell that the travelers were in trouble. It's really surprising, but I just can't stand around in shock. The, the man attacking the travelers must be one of those bad gods somebody once told me about. Honestly, I still don't know what the difference is between good gods and bad gods. But I definitely didn't want the travelers to die. I have to do something, anything. <laughs> Dead. Something fell right to the ground in front of me. I, I know what this is. I saw the grown-ups practicing with it. They just squeeze this part and it shoots an arrow. Can can I use this to help? Oh no! Oh no, we've created a child soldier on accident! Oh no, Aisha, no! Aisha, honey! Maybe if I can help the nice travelers, maybe they can help my father. Well, Congratulations. You know what we just did? We ruined a perfectly good child. That's what we did. Look, it's got anxiety and depression now. Uh, is that? I've got a gun. Shooty, shooty, bang, bang. Oh, no. A Aisha, stop. Hmm. Somebody else foolish enough to shoot out a season hunter. Time shows them what happens when... I can't pull the trigger. What's going on? <gasps> right! Okay, so William Tell was a family man. He can't shoot Aisha. This is his weakness. This is his weakness. He can't shoot a child. But she can sure as shit shoot him! Aisha! Aisha, for the love of all that's good! Take this man out! <laughs> I see that we've got a... We got a redeem for an earwiggle. So... Wiggle 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 Yep, child soldiers do in fact be the weakness. His weakness is he doesn't like small things to die. Pearl gets a gun. I have a gun! Shooty shooty bang bang! Absolutely. Yeah, you know what? Look, if I if if hey he doesn't seem to die when I kill him. Maybe if she kills him, he'll stay dead. This war crime is being interrupted due to the wiggles. It's it's my it's it's my uh weasel family war dance, you know, cause uh sea otters are part of the weasel family. So my war dance is literally just the war wiggles. <laughs> that's that's what it is, it's just the war wiggles. Yo, what are you doing? Didn't you, like, fight to protect children? Wasn't that, like, your whole shtick? Ferret war dances are hilarious. They're just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, like, put it their whole body. They're just like... <laughs> hello, Undersea Owl. Hello, hello. It's wonderful to see you. Yeah, like... We all know your story. Come on, William, like, don't you remember your son? Don't you remember how you, like, had to shoot the apple off his head to save them from that, like, jerk war out of a vault? Seriously. Listen, I'm, like, a hardcore gamer, so I may not know much outside of, like, my wheelhouse, but, like, I do know this. 
shooting a kid is like one of the things William Tell should never, ever, ever like fucking do. Huh. My son. My. My son. What the hell are you talking about? Ugh. Oh. His memories must have been deemed useless and erased. Right, because Arjuna can also erase memories as well as like when when he kills a person or like removes them, he he can erase them. So while he thought that William Tell was still like useful as a hunter and as like a vessel of Vanyu, his memory of his son was deemed useless and taken away. But the spirit origin, his core, his soul still remembers. Hello, hello, Remy. Pro quick, pro quick, what? Favorite Subway sandwich? I'm ordering. All right. Uh, popular to con con contrary to popular belief, my favorite Subway sandwich is a tuna sandwich. Tuna sandwich with, uh, instead of iceberg lettuce, I get spinach, I get pickles, I get salt and pepper, and light, and I get sriracha mayo on a, on a wheat bun. That's my favorite, that's my favorite Subway sandwich. I like tuna. I'm an otter. I like fish. Tuna, tuna's good. I love tuna salad. I'm a, I'm a good, I'm a big fan of the tuna salad. Mm. <laughs> Just smile and not, smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Uh, essentially, uh, his, his, his heart remembers his son, but his body does not. Like, his, his, like, physical being should not be able to remember, but that's why he couldn't pull the trigger. Mm. I can't believe it. His memories must have been deemed useless and erased. Hello, Phoenix. Hello, hello. Lovely, lovely to see you. We are doing fate grind order, and I am voicing all of the cutscenes. <clears throat> like, I don't know what's going on, but at least he finally stopped moving around. Now's our chance. Don't worry about Aisha. My impressive girth can function as even more of an impressive meat shield. We got this. Hello, Atomic Gods. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. We are we are continuing our uh, Indian uh, brrr, excursion. Yes, we are continuing our Indian excursion. Uh, right now, everything is kind of shit <laughs> because it is the part of the yuga, the part of the like their their calendar year that's been sped up. That all the bad things happen. It's no longer pretty. It's no longer nice. No, everything's gone to shit. Yeah, we got an atomic otter and an atomic gods. Can can we can we get an Atomic Kitten? Honestly though, I do love Atomic Kitten. Has anybody ever heard of that band? It was like, I want you to want me. I need you to need me. I love you to love me. I'm begging you to beg me. Shine up your old brown shoes. Put on a brand new shirt. Get home early from work if you'll say that you love me. Oh, didn't I, didn't I, didn't I see you crying? Oh, didn't I, didn't I, didn't I see you crying? I'm feeling all alone without a friend, you know you feel like dying. Oh, didn't I, didn't I, didn't I see you crying? Ow! <laughs> I really, I really do like Atomic Kitten, actually. So, next karaoke stream, I'm definitely adding that song to uh, to the repertoire. So, I hope you guys are uh, excited to hear that fully. Thank you, thank you. Yes, musical otter. I'm very musically uh, talented. <laughs> okay, but now back to the voice acting part. <clears throat> this is it. The opportunity we've been waiting for. Come on, Master. It's time to finish this. <laughs> Thank you, Jigu. I appreciate it. It is now time for us to do a heckin' a heckin' murder. So, let's see here. The question becomes: Is this one a hard fight where I actually have to have? Oh goodness! <laughs> I come in and hear that song. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I'm kidding you, right, meow? Thank you, Ashen, so much for gifting another Tier 1 gift sub. This one to Remy. Remy, please enjoy all of our emotes done by Chuny Bunny. 
<laughs> Welcome Atomic Pig 22 to the SS Otter Worldly Traveler. Please enjoy your vacation. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Looks like we've got uh, three atomic people here. Looks like this place is really becoming the bomb. <laughs> oh man, that's such a bad joke. It's so bad. Wait, what's up? I have you in the background on my phone. You got a gift sub, Remy. You got one from Ashen. You might want to thank him. You also have access to the SS Otter Worldly Discord now for this Saturday and Sunday where we're doing movie night and we're doing a uh, and a game. Yeah, it's a sub. You can you can add yourself to the Discord and you can join us this weekend for our uh, community night. That's actually kind of becoming a two-parter. <laughs> sub for sub. Yes. You're like, gift sub, receive Subway sandwich. Now the real question is, do I do I use do I use one of these and just kind of and kind of hope the sub for a sub it's the subway yeah the subway sandwich look some people do be wanting that subway sandwich it's delicious all right so I only have oh wait okay she's 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 multi target I want my single target excuse me may I please have my single target Lancer thank you very important for me hello hello Aura. hello Aura Bell. five dollar five dollar foot long no more no more no more man i didn't realize they got rid of the five dollar foot long i'm sad i used to that used to be like a thing every once in a while i would like go get like a tuna tuna sandwich that was like a foot long and i'd eat half of it for lunch and then the other half for dinner I like the tuna salad. Give currency, receive Italian BMT. <laughs> and you could get me one too. It might be uh, weird once you receive it in the mail. You, I, it wouldn't be a good sandwich anymore. Trade offer. You give me sub, I give you Subway sandwich. <laughs> All right. We are, we are going to try it this way because I don't know exactly how well this is going to go. Uh, let's see. Let's let's give that arts power up. Let's give that arts power up. We are, we're going to we're going to boost the arts. Here is your trade offer. You give other you give other money. Other other roll gotcha. <laughs> That's essentially what happens. Not actually. I don't I don't actually use y'all's money for gotcha rolls. <laughs> a little moldy, but it would still be edible. Hmm, maybe. Alright. First thing we're gonna do, NP gauge. Alright. So what is it? Unable to use noble phantasm. Well that's fan fucking tastic, actually. Alright. Three turns. That's 100%. We're just gonna boost all of these. All of the stuff. What does this do? Uh, increase buff removal, resist, NP. Okay, so I don't need that quite yet. Excellent. So we're gonna use... Crit up. Don't need that. Increase arts. Yeah, here we go. All I all I know is that uh, we're 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 going for the big art streak. I love how he's like, I only need a single strike, and then proceeds to like boop him like three times. Look at that! Look at that! Look at how disgusting that was. This is the sound of me not caring. We got we got waiver on our side, which essentially means high damage cut and defense do be good. Okay, so we are unable to use. Okay, that uh that sucks. We can't use a uh, Jean's thing. Uh, where we uh stun him. 
But he's unable to use Noble Phantasm, so it's really just kind of a, uh, I guess, useless moot point, as so long as we have really good defense. He also doesn't have the ability to uh, really hurt us anymore. So this is just going to be like a war of just really kind of boring. <laughs> Water of the sea, what is my wisdom? My wisdom is Merlin Banner come out soon. Me excited. Ah. Uh, hello. Welcome. Welcome, readers. Hello. Hello, Aussie Farah. Thank you for reading. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Hello. We are doing Fate Grind Order, uh, where I am mostly just doing the stuff here. Hello, Golden Sun Knight. I am well. We are just doing Fate Grind Order. Uh, we are trying to get past William Tell because he's being a bit of a... A question. Will he live to tell the tale or will this be our final battle with him? I think this is supposed to be our final battle with him. I think this is kind of like the whole point. Honestly. Don't go below deck. My foot long from a year ago is down there. Guys, you, you know, yeah, you're not supposed to keep that as, like, hard tack anymore, right? Like, you you are aware, correct? We we don't need to be holding out like that, y'all. It's fine. We're, we're good here. All right. You know what? We'll go this way and see how well that takes us. We're just going to... You're going to get to see all the noble phantasms because that's that's how arts teams work. Arts team go blue go burr. Everything is now, everything is now blue. I'm blue, da ba dee da ba it dies. Hopefully. It's gone from hard tack to mold tack. But if you keep it long enough, it becomes pet. Interesting. But guys, why would you need a pet? I'm right here. I'm right here. Okay, we are doing more of the increasing of... Look, I can function as more than one thing. I have many hats. We give pets, not has pets. But, but what if I want both? What if I want both? I mean... I can, look, I can, I can be adorably pet. I do all the things pets do. I make cute noises. I eat food. I uh, whine very loudly for attention. I, anything they can do, I can do much cuter. Oh, now, now he can actually do his noble phantasm. Name one pet who can sing a siege shanty. Uh, parrots. If you train them well enough, parrots. <laughs> no, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. I, yeah, crows. Yeah, you can also teach crows. My pets can't play Pokemon. Well, then obviously I'm better than your pets. I'm better. I can play Pokemon with you. I can help you do raids. I can be uh, incredibly adorable. All right. Let's see what we got here. Hopefully, we're just going to do this one. Actually, it might not. It might not. So we'll just do this one. <laughs> Them's fighting words. Look. Can your pet sing you, can your pet right now sing you a lullaby to sleep? So this is the true art of war. Yes! I have the, uh, I have the art of the cards. Maybe. Alright. You know what? I wanna- Oh, hey! It actually did! It actually did do that. I am adorable. Look. Sometimes you gotta nibble. Sometimes you gotta nibble. It's, it's, it's not my fault. That some of you look incredibly tasty. You have very tasty looking fingies. 
And then I want to nibble them. Nibble, nibble, nibble. All right. Fingies? Since when? I've been, I've nibbled your fingies and your ears. What do we do with the drunken otter? What do we do with the drunken otter? Well, uh, I'm not really sure what you do with me. I think you just listen to me sing. Generally how that works. Man, uh, I don't know what to tell you, Willie. Uh, that, uh, that noble phantasm didn't do shit. That noble phantasm literally did not kill anyone. That's some weak sauce there, bud. <laughs> Put her in here. You're not incorrect. You guys would put me in the brig. Don't otters break craliums with rocks? That's true. That is true. That is a thing that we do. And if somebody redeems uh, more otter facts, I can give you more. We uh, we learned very recently that otters can hit a can hit a rock on a clam on a rock forty five times in fifteen seconds. That is that is a three bops. That's three boops. Three boops per second. That means you know Ada goes ada 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 ada. ada. Put her in the break until she's sober. Put her in the break until she's sober. Put her in the break until she's sober. Early in the morning. Waffler, Waffler, thank you for being part of the crew for five months. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. You know what that means? It means time for five kisses. <laughs> there you go. Five kisses. Five smoocheroonies. Artifact. Artifact. Time to get another artifact. 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 Mm-hmm. The fact that you, uh, early, that you eerily correct lets me know you got your sea legs. <laughs> yes, kisses. Every, ev all of my crew who stay for a long time get smooches. So every time you subscribe, there's a smooch. <laughs> you get smooches. Your lips are basically in a training art. Your lips are going to have a six pack. Mwah. I did give 179 kisses at one point. I I give boops at the speed of light, but also I also give kisses at the speed of light. I'm a very fast smoocher. So, here we go. Fun otter fact to give you. Mhm. Mm so, here here is here is how it works. You ever wanted to know how come a, an otter uh, doesn't doesn't get cold in the water? All right. Sea otters do not have blubber or fat. Like, you know, sea lions or whales or, you know, other large marine mammals. No, 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 no. They stay warm using two layers of fur. So the top layer is to keep it essentially uh, hydrody hydrodynamic and uh, hydrophobic. So it does not allow... Uh, the water to get into the fur, which is incredibly dense, by the way. It's got like 1 million hairs per square inch. It's, it's like the densest animal fur. So water can't get in because it has a large uh, amount of oil that the sea otter itself produces and like uses its pa its little paws and like its, its mouth to like spread the oil around. But there's a second layer at the bottom, kind of like a chinchilla, uh, where uh, it keeps uh, air in. So the top layer guards the air but the bottom well the top layer guards the water but the second one has air air that is kept one helps them float and two uh keeps them warm see there's your otter fact otter fact otter fact there was your otter fact otter fact otter fact otter fact Yes, Japan does have a, a cafes where you can hold hands with the otters. They're usually Asian small clawed otters, which are you can be kept as pets in certain places. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that you enjoyed your otter fact. I'd like to spread more words about our endangered species. Mm -hmm. 
You failed to shoot your quarry. You were hunting our master and almost shot a child instead. What a shame. You are no longer William Tell, the heroic archer engraved on the throne of heroes. You are nothing more than an ordinary hunter at the mercy of a god. All right, I'll do the chitter first, and then I'll do the purr. Okay, and now it's going to be about a purr for a minute. There we go. And there's the purr for about a minute. There we go. Thank you so much for the hug. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hmm. <clears throat> Be gone, William Tell, before you are past redemption. <clears throat> He's dead now. People die when they are killed a second time. <laughs> <sighs> What's an awful fate. Having your on having only your defective memories erased. I don't even think about what he'd like. I don't even want to think about what it'd be like if it had happened to me. It's like I'm really there. 4D otter per ASMR. <laughs> you know, I do. I do uh, ASMR usually on Saturday nights, and I do. I do a heckin' purr. I I will purr in your ears, biurnally. You will you will feel it all around you, and I do rub my face against the uh, microphone. <laughs> Look. I can't help it. Sometimes you just gotta rub your face. You just kinda go, mmm, right in there. People die when they are killed, unless gut skill. Yes. And that is how come Heracles is a, is a broken monstrosity and I appreciate him. Also, Kualter. <laughs> ya boy. All right. <clears throat> this battle isn't over yet. Finish him. I'm well aware. Huh? Hello, hello, lock check, lock check. Hello, how are you doing today? Ugh, this really pisses me off. Oh, we got the angry boy. Still not done with my last job, but I couldn't just ignore all this crap. Damn it. Damn it all. It makes me really angry that you guys have a bad luck to be here when you have nothing to do with the beast I was chasing. Uh-oh. Looks like we made a mangy. It's Albatus man. It's Hot Wheels. We got Hot Wheels. Time to time to bring him in. You just uh got back into this game, so you're impulsively trying to find content creators who play it. Well, I uh, I will let you know that I do play the game, but I am not good at the meta. This stream has the perfect amount of pastel colors on show for me. Excellent. We do here be like in the pastel. I, my favorite color is seafoam green. This is a dude who sounds like me, but is angry all of the time. Yeah. Mostly, this is me playing voice actor. Uh, but I will try and explain lore, as well as I will try and explain um, other things. But I believe that this is going to be... I think he's going to be our next boss fight. Because uh, he's here, he's angry, and we did just murder William Tell. A Vatus man of all times for him to show up. <clears throat> Indeed. I was about to remind you that I assume none of you had forgotten what day it was. 
Today is the Kali Yuga, when the entire world is unmade and recreated. If we are to safely avoid its effects, I might suggest that you begin your retreat now towards the border. Alacrity would be advisable. Ah, thank you so much, Atomic Pig, for the Atawata. I will take that sip real quick. Mm. And, uh, Blaine, I hope that you enjoy your lurk. Thank you very much. Mwah. There's a kiss for you. <clears throat> Can't you see what we're dealing with here? Uh, detective, we possibly cannot turn our backs to his opponent. Damn it! It's just, like, been one thing after another, like, after another, like, after another. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. Like, um, what are you doing here? Like, Aisha, where's your dad? Uh, he, he hurt his leg, and he's at the healers right now. Gotcha. That, like, sounds super serious, but, like, right now, like, you've got to get out of here. Like, hide. Like, Aisha. That voice, you sound like a voice actor. I, this is me doing voice acting practice while also, you know, enjoying the story. Mm. Uh, oh, okay. Mm. Avatis man is about to come after us if we don't, if we try and run away. Uh, since we destroyed the giant Kali, the townspeople should be able to look after themselves. Uh, so I think it's best that we could, you know, make a break for it. There are two problems with that idea. First, Avatis man is a powerful servant. With all of that so exhausted, merely escaping him isn't going to be easy. If we're not careful, he'll end up mowing us down the moment we turn our backs on him. The second, I'd really like to finish this off. Tell off where we have the chance. Oh, so Tell's not dead quite yet. We've, we, have, we have beaten him to a pulp, but he's somehow not the murdered. We need to eliminate him if we are to defeat Arjuna. And we may never get another chance like this again. Yeah, but, like, you know, like, our lives, what about those? Shouldn't we, like, be surviving, like, first priority? I mean, even if we do manage to take him down, what's the point if we all end up dead because we failed to get away? I know, I know, but, uh, damn it. <laughs> Just what we needed. You awake now? Good. Then you could help me take care of these guys, especially since you were supposed to. What the? Oh, welcome, welcome. I do not know how to pronounce your name because it is in Korean, but uh, thank you, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your vacation. Hello, hello. Hello, Sora. Hi, hi. How are you doing? How are you doing, sweetheart? <sighs> nope. Just can't seem to remember anything <clears throat> from all life. But I do remember there was something, something that I was forced to forget. That's right. I know there's something real important to me, so something I didn't have no more. And I know you and that uh, gods are the one who took it. <clears throat> are they, are they falling out with each other? No, wait, it looks like... It looks like William Tell was never a complete Lokapala to begin with. At any rate, now's our chance to run for it. Let's get out of here. Pitter patter, let's get at her. Goodbye. Sayonara. Boo -boo! All right, everybody, pitter patter. Let's get at her. Let's get out. Bayonara. Peace. I'm outie. I'm outie 9000. Man, I'm gone. What? Hey, get back here. Damn it. Ugh, now I'm really pissed. You gotta pay for that old man. Ugh, he's gone too. Guess he must use Banu's power to make an escape. Doubt he'll last long with those wounds if he pushes himself too hard, but still, damn it. You're trying to best to get Ayaka and Genshin Impact? Well, I wish you luck. You have my energy. I believe in you. There you go. Just, mmm, bah. <clears throat> All right. Well. Let's see if I can go after at least one of them. Might as well stick to the ones I can see. <laughs> running, 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 running. A Vetus man is, is coming after us. I was afraid this might happen. Keep running. I'll hold him off to the rear. I know about his amazing regenerative abilities. They practically make him immortal. I may not be able to defeat him now, but I would at least like to stop him from coming after all of us. Of course, since he'll recover from most of the damage as soon as we inflict it on him, I'll probably have to cut off both his legs to even do that. Damn it. Just as much work as defeating him, especially when we're trying to make escape at the same time. Yeah, this man's going to the rear. 
Of all the stupid terms, oh, damn it! That damn conceptual arrow must have triggered it. Ugh. Now he's writhing around on the ground, sweating like a pig. What's, what's going on? It's, looks like he's in pain. I don't know what's going on, but I'm not about to look a particular gift horse in the mouth. Let's get out of here while we can. Thank you! Thank you! Uh, see, this is what we like to call just a divine, divine intervention. Just thank you, convenient plot device of not getting my butt rear-ended. Damn it! Now I'm really pissed. <laughs> Bye! Now that you know about me, I'm sure the false god won't hesitate to erase me with everything else that he doesn't want in the world. You're certain that I can avoid cataclysm so long as I am on board your ship, yes? Absolutely! Uh, speaking of which, it looks like our genius started to charge up that noble phantasm <laughs> right on schedule, so uh, let's get in. This one is not near as a close call as before. Ah, yes, God, Juna. Hello, sir. Lovely to see you. Can you please maybe not remake the world and murder lots of people? That would be nice. Can I uh, can I ask you very pleasantly to not, Mr. Mr. God Junior? <clears throat> Confirming our distance from Arjuna now. Good, we should be safe here. One thing we must avoid at all costs is a direct attack on the border. Uh, we can't escape to void space with a, without a vehicle capable of zero sail, after all. Uh, we're only a few hundred meters away from the rendezvous. Uh, it looks like we won't have any trouble reaching it in time. This time, anyway. Ah, I can hear the border engines now. Ah, home, sweet home. Ah, Bombas! Thank you, thank you for being subscribed for four months. Thank you. Thank you for being part of the crew for four months. You know what that means? Four smoochies. There you go. Four smoochies. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, <clears throat> now don't start that. This isn't your home, damn it. Look, all that aside, I still kind of wonder why Asvatis man stopped chasing us. I don't think he stopped so much as he... Good. I, I've got a visceral on your position, but uh, we really need to get ready for the zero sale, like, uh, as soon as we hit the rendezvous, so, uh... Wait, huh? Hold up, hold up, hold everything! What is it? Monier, if this is talking a bathroom break, you should have thought about that before we left. What? No, there's a there's a servant right next to the rendezvous point. What? Didn't one of them come after us? This is terrible. What if they attack the border? Uh, no, no, we need not worry about that. Based on these readings, I'm seeing the answers plain to see. They're wounded. This servant has clearly been so gravely injured that they are no longer able to move. Furthermore... Uh, furthermore? It's the servant we're all familiar with, Director. Gordolf, though we are decidedly not on friendly terms, unfortunately. Pearl and her team should be coming upon her shortly, and for the moment I suggest we wait to see what happens. Perhaps then we'll be able to determine what brought here what brought her here. <gasps> oh it's a it's good Take me out to the void sea Oh it's to Mama no Mini. Oh man, I love this. I unironically love that she made a fucking sign. I love that. Kitsiata. Kitsiata, you absolute ridiculous woman. I love you. She is the villain I love to hate because sometimes she's just, she's just fun. What? I also love how the music just fucking stops. The, the music just straight up stops. When when we're doing that, it's hilarious to me. It's killing me here. Oh, goodness. Which, by the way, if you guys can't hear it, please let me know. Because sometimes the uh, the Elgato game uh, doesn't doesn't want to capture the uh, the audio super well all the time. So please let me know if it's not working. She's a perfect example. Yes, she is a perfect example of that. Just like the the writer just having the most fun with this. And you know what? I I cannot. I cannot complain. It's just too much fun. It really is. Uh 
All right, let's see what we got here. No battles, time to start the quest. She's just, she's just such a fun villain. Like, she's, she's a good villain because, like, all the other villains seem to just, like, oh, well, I'm just evil and that's it. That's the only part about me that happens. You're not up to the singularity yet, you don't think. Yeah, it's the fourth one. It's, it's the fourth Lost Belt, which is after all the other singularities. So it's kind of, uh, it kind of builds on after all the singularities are done. Like, what happens afterwards. If they ever make a Vich summonable, she's going to have so many outfits. <laughs> true, true. Team Angst, thank you so much for being part of the uh, being part of the crew. Welcome, welcome aboard, everybody. Welcome aboard our new crewmate, Teen Angst, uh, and receive one free smoochie as part of your orientation. Mwah. There you go. <laughs> oh, you're still on Camelot. Look, good luck with Camelot. It is very hard. Um, I I will go ahead and uh, throw up my friend code. Uh, uh, up here at the end of the stream if you like need help i have plenty of spaces available to uh to assist i have lots of support so hopefully i can help you through camelot just a little bit all right <laughs> that emperor who embodied all of humanity was one thing but i can destroy a mere warrior with like you with a few bites <laughs> <sighs> Alas, my short-sighted, I mean, lovely bark turned out to be worse than my bite. Now I see what they mean when they say the brightest stars burn out the quickest. That locally sourced Loke Apollo is on a whole different level. He must have been a most powerful servant in this lost belt, excluding Arjuna, of course. Ah, oh, Lothric, Lothric, thank you. Thank you for being part of the crew. Welcome, welcome aboard. Everybody, welcome aboard. Another crewmate. Uh, and as part of your orientation, you receive one smoochie. Mwah. There you go. <laughs> I gotta show him the ropes, guys. And if that weren't enough, he even had some powerful holy sutras equipped. No doubt, thanks to that damn monk. <laughs> I can't even break out my other tails here in this India. That would put me too close to my original for comfort. My goal is to become an entirely new nine-tailed beast. After all, I refuse to be part of that obsolete folklore. Thanks to you and the other person who offered to help, I now have NP5 Berserker John, Al John Alter. You know what? Enjoy your Jolter. Enjoy her. Do that. Oh well. At least it was able to put that angry meathead's stupid front teeth out and stupid throat before I made my escape. Ah, uh, that did feel good. All I have to worry about now is... Not dying. Being remade. So pretty, please. Is that God's monstrous power? Now that I've been marked as undesirable, I can't afford to get caught in it. And try and as my then try as, as uh, might to leave. <laughs> and try as I might to leave. <sighs> it's just those damn sutras holding me back. If only I hadn't taken that side trip to South America. At any rate, it looks like I won't be able to manifest in any other region until I get rid of his virtue. In which case... Well, any port and storm, like I always say, in the world's about all give and take. If I have a hitch to ride a void getting wiped out for existence, then so be it. So essentially... She, uh, she wants us to scratch her back. She'll scratch our back. And this is not the first time we have made a, uh, a deal with, uh, with Tamama no Mini over here. <clears throat> I do believe she's attempting to hitchhike. What? What? What in the world is that mix thinking? Hmm. Jerkers, who I spent the last couple of weeks grinding hard for, I'm still not got two of the categories to one million points yet, though. <laughs> Good luck. You, to, it's it's grind time. It is the last minute. I did I did uh, I did it last year, so I I actually didn't really need this one. However, I am I am looking forward to hitting my face against the grindstone for uh, summer four that's coming out in uh, tomorrow. I'm I'm excited. I'm also excited because 
Merlin go burr time. <laughs> Nobody loses when you're talking about back scratches. That's true. Love back scratches. I am excited for Merlin. Merlin is uh is my boy. He is my favorite. He is who got me into playing this dang game. <laughs> so me just being like Merlin, Merlin, Merlin. <laughs> just just me foaming at the mouth being like, "All right, it's been 2 years and I got 900 Saints courts with your name on it, bud." Hey, look, it happens every Look, look. The closer it got, I told you the more the Merlin talk was going to happen. It's in less than 24 hours, Ashen. Less than 24 hours, and Summer 4 comes out. This otter got a grind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, she's too close to the rendezvous point for us to go around her without losing a lot of time. But of course, there's no telling what she might do if we stay on track and end up running her into her. So what should we do? Is it really that close? It is. The The first Sunday, the three Sundays that the event is out is the only time. So there is three pickup banners for Merlin, and each of them is on a Sunday. One of them is going to be on our stream night, uh, on our stream night on Sunday through the Discord. Uh, the second one will be the next Sunday. So I wanted to know if people wanted me to do it on the Discord night um for just discord people or if we wanted me to stream it the sunday afterwards <laughs> you try uh you've tried fate go but you just couldn't get into it you know it's it's not for everybody i'll definitely say that uh as as gameplay goes like interactive gameplay ability it is kind of on the lower end but it is a very old gotcha it's been around for a long time so while it doesn't have the most engaging uh, mechanics gameplay wise it does have a lot of good story that's it has a lot of good story even if it is convoluted as fuck it has good story it has excellent character design um it has interesting like events uh lots of like au sort of like scenarios going on here and if you're just a big fan of any of the fate franchise it just it it really does cater to to you know being like hey you liked this here's this mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, i want to be there when you do the draws because if you do get them we can do the squeaks of excitement all right so that's at least one vote for make make me stream it make me stream it for for everybody <laughs> Merlin's almost here. Yeah, Merlin's almost here. Merlin, Merlin, it, it'll be on the 1st, the 8th, and the 15th are the three days that I can try and get Merlin. Vote stream? All right. All right, that's at least two votes for stream. We'll, we'll do a poll at the end. We'll do a poll at the end. Mm -hmm. Look, she's looking a little rough. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, you, you you better not be thinking what I think you're thinking, Pearl. I know she'd help us out a little in China, but it hardly makes us allies, and not by a long shot. Besides, let's not forget that it was entirely, completely, 100% her fault we were poisoned in the first place. Yeah, but you still, you, you know it, but she cute, though. But she cute, though. You see, even the furball knows that we can't trust her. Come on, we we need to make a choice here. That's fine if you don't if you want to ignore her, but you should know she's charging up some sort of weird magical energy. Uh, she's holding both hands up and forming some sort of glowing ball of energy above her head. So let's go. Foo, foo, foo! I just look at that smile. I can almost hear her saying. If you don't come and get me, I'm going to use all my remaining power to blow myself up and take you all out with me. <clears throat> Manure? Manure. I recommend making a detour. We should pick up Pearl's group, at least ten kilometers away from her. Uh, I, I told you we don't have time for that. Besides, they're already going as fast as they can. Look, in for a penny, in for a pound. We've, hurt, we've, we've helped her before. We might as well fucking again. No, no, all right. I'll consider this a distress signal and allow it just this once. She may be one of our most contemptible enemies, but abandoning somebody asking for help will just lead to more headaches down the road. 
yes, pretty much. Besides, you already let me on board when I was in trouble. You might as well do the same for Koyasaka. Also, those injuries of her, it looks to me like she had a falling out with one of our other enemies. I had a feeling that was going to happen sooner or later. <clears throat> if that's true, it would mean that she's become a target of Arjuna's noble phantasm as well. It will certainly explain why she's looking to the border of all places for refuge. Bringing her on board does pose a risk, but we do all know that she's been weakened, and if she attempts anything outward, it, we will not be defenseless. Furthermore, we will be able to gain new and valuable information from her, even if we do have to fight her again from time to time. True, true, but I exercise you in the utmost caution. The Minx's devilish charms are powerful enough to deceive a first-class dandy like myself. If we're going to let her on board, we should at least put a bag over her head or something, just to be safe. Uh, I'm pretty sure we won't have to worry about that. Uh, we all really well know what side of person she is by now. Don't be ridiculous. You're the one I'm worried about most, Capricia. I can tell from the beta male look on your face that practically screams 2D girlfriends are all I need that you'd be powerless against her charms. Hey! Hey! Don't you... Sir! Gordolf! Don't you at me like that. Sir? <laughs> he's firing shots at me! I know, I know that he's calling out, he's calling out Moyer, but he's actually calling out me! Sir, them's fighting words. Ch -ch -ch. You wanna go? You're about to be gore dead. Director, I would like to direct you to the sound of this gun. <laughs> You're worried about me? What are you, my mom? Are you quite sure you'll be all right? Positive. Well, all right then. Still, I'm going to give myself a few good dubs of this clone, uh, just in case. In, in case of what, exactly? All right, go, go ahead and do a full throttle drift of the spot right between Pearl and Koyasaka. Mm, just get a little bit more of this clone here. <laughs> I am 2D girlfriend. <laughs> also, who the fuck are they referring to? I looked at my during this scene. Tamama no Mini, the, uh, the, the Tamama, the Tamamo character, Koyasaka. Well, we'll depart. You know, once again, it's usually taking all the necessary precautions. Yeah, he's like, yeah, you're gonna fall for her charms, even though he's all over here just like dabbing cologne left and right over here. Oh, good. You stopped. I guess that means you're letting me on. Yeah, but if we're letting you on, you're gonna let us on on what the fuck is going on. But of course, I never expect a free ride. Oh, my little foo. You really do have it out for me, don't you? Ooh, I'm so scared. Anyway, let's get going, shall we? Or is this plan to put me in some sort of BDSM gear before we get moving? Uh, ma'am? 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 Don't. Look, don't. <clears throat> do not offer that. I am sure Holmes has some. You've seen that. You've seen that vest he's got, right? Man's a degenerate, and we all know it. <laughs> uh, yes, she's basically evil Tamamo. She is one of the the tales. So, fun fact: <clears throat> Tamamo, the servant Tamamo, caster Tamamo, actually talks about this that she separated all the rest of her tales. And each of them became their own servant as an aspect of her. So there is, you know, Berserker Tamamo, or as we like to call her, Tamomo Cat. That is one of the nine tales. She each each of the tales became a different person, essentially. Mm hmm. <laughs> These characters are so shamelessly horny. I'm yes, yes, they are. And some of them are very horny for you, main character. And you're just kind of like swatting them away. You're like, excuse me. No, thank you. Go away, please. One, one of them is a Kiyohime. Kiyohime is like, she's supposed to be 14. She's like a 14-year-old girl. But she is like yandere as fuck. And is like 
crawling around in your floorboards and you're just like, excuse me, no, down, bad girl, away, away. I am trying to go to sleep. I am trying to go to the cafeteria. I just wanted a juice box. You're like squirting her with water. Just like, no, down, bad girl, bad fire snake dragon lady. Bad girl, bad, down. Get out of my floorboards. She's like in crawl space. Yeah, you think Raiko would, would 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 try and help? No, they just enable each other. It's it's terrifying. You would think that some of them would fight each other, but no, all of them are just like ah yes. Here is here is all the crawled floorboard space, and like they all have their own like little cubby holes and like nooks and crannies that they occupy. And you're just kind of sitting there on your bed, like in a snug blanket. And just kind of like trying your hardest to just not make any noise and or movement. Because you were afraid. And then you've got the game. Then you have literally just this whole game trying to ship you with MASH the entire time. Like this game makes you, where it's like, do you want horny post? Where it's like, ah yes, you're flirting with MASH. Or are you like horny flirting with MASH? And I'm like, I don't want to flirt with MASH in any way. She is daughter. I want to protect her. I don't want to date her. <laughs> like, like all of them are just like, do you, do you want to smash the mash? And I'm like, no, I just wanted goldfish crackers. <laughs> Why are you like this? Game. <laughs> you have one copy of Ryko. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> for that price, you might as well be under my floorboards. <laughs> Look, look, I, I cannot tell you the amount of Saints Courts I have thrown Merlin's way. That boy is coming home whether he wants it or not this time. I will get out Wallet Chan. I will be un- I, I will do it. You will all watch me do it. <laughs> oh, perhaps one of you is giddy at the thought of an opportunity to do all sorts of naughty things he missed his chance for in China. Welcome, welcome aboard, Aldro One to the SS Otterworldly Traveler. Please enjoy your vacation. Thank you so much for the follow. I uh, I do appreciate it. Sunday we rail in from Merlin. Uh, it'll be it'll be not this Sunday. It'll because this Sunday we're doing a Discord night, so it will probably be next Sunday. The 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 next on the on the fifth was it the the eighth? It'll probably be on the eighth. Yes. Ma'am, keep it in your pants. Look at her. She's just she's just so horny on Maine. Bye, Jagu. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a rest. Of, have a good rest of your day. Mwah. There you go. I'll have you know, I was thinking nothing of the sort. <clears throat> no, don't rub off the cologne. You don't smell anything. <laughs> People would normally be getting hot and bothered. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm growing more and more concerned. The more that she opens her mouth, I'm just like, no, thank you. I already have two husbandos and two waifus. I'm good. None of them are you. I just, like, stand closer to Edmund. <laughs> it's all that happens. Just just me standing closer to Edmund the entire time. Just like, protect me. <laughs> oh, Captain, my Captain, please protect me. <laughs> make, make, make the horny, make the horny fox lady go away. <laughs> The only thing I'm hopeful for is that the moment the suspense and bridge effect. <laughs> well, you can let your grandmother know that I'm okay. I was uh, I was just very excited to see the Sylvia the other day, just out and about the world. Especially because I hadn't found a single Eevee before then. I had found zero Eevees. But there was a Sylveon walking around on the on the outside, and I was just like, oh, "Baby, I want it." Look, Edmund is a good husbando. Look, he's a good husbando who lives in our dreams and hides in our shadow and keeps all the other incredibly bad servants from trying to like grab us out of nowhere. He's a good man. He is a good man, and he is built like a dilf, and I am down for it. Just <gasps> Sylvia, that's such a cute emote. Oh, it's adorable. BB, BB, my favorite evolution. Look, I don't care if I'm basic. I love it. 
I love it so much, so much unironically. It's so pastel and adorable and I want to take it home. Except I do have one. I actually have a big Sylveon. Like, you know those Pokemon Center pillows where they have all the evolutions? <laughs> where they have all the, like, sleeping evolution pillows that are, like, pretty big? I have one that's a Sylveon and I sleep next to it. It's my pillow. And then the other one I've got is I have a uh, I have a big narwhal and a big giraffe and they kind of look like potatoes and they're adorable. <laughs> you love Raiko, but I'm also afraid. I am afraid of her. I am terrified of her. She scares me. She like actually wants to be my mother and I'm kind of like, "Hip. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. No." <laughs> <laughs> Glaceon, Glaceon is good I just I wish that it's shiny was better if that makes any sense because like the Leafeon and Glaceon shinies are so disappointing because they're literally just like slightly off colored anyway back to voice acting the game <clears throat> At the moment, I would prefer you to get on the border post hay so that we can begin our zero sale preparations. I tried to ensure that we would have all the time to spare, but I do have a bad feeling about what's coming. Do try and hurry. Man, I love God Juna's design because cat boy, but his personality is shit. <laughs> oh, good limbo. You guys ready for evil cackling? Me just doing the evil cackling? You guys ready? You ready for this? <clears throat> oh, how unexpectedly thrilling. Oh, yes. Perhaps you were simply unaware. My dear. Chaladians. Oh my, this will never do. Surely you should know better than that by now, no. This world gets leaner and leaner the more excess is shaved off with each yuga cycle. That, of course, means that it requires a bit less energy to destroy it as the cycles go on. It's very efficient. So if you were expecting it to take as long as it did before, why? You might just find yourselves running a little short on time. <laughs> Go on, God. Let us proceed with the next culling. God, I love doing Limbo's voice, though. The evil cackles. Arjun is just over there just like... Brrr. <laughs> He's just like, don't mind me. I'm just going to cackle like a madman. Huh. Oh, you mean the poison girl? You mean, um, which one? You mean, uh, you mean Shootin or you mean the other poison girl, Serenity? Because, like, Serenity, Serenity is, like, the only one I'd be like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with the, uh, <clears throat> with her, her being kind of stalkery towards me. Because at least she, she does so. In like a way that's at least semi-respectful. Hers is just kind of like, oh, you have enough resistance to hold my hand. Like, Serenity is cute. Like, she's the one that's, like, cute. She'd be the one where it's like, I just want human contact. And, like, you're the only human she's able to touch in any way, shape, or form without dying. So I, I feel like hers is just, I really need a best friend and, like, really wants a hug and is just touch starved. And I'm like, baby, come over here. Come over here. I'll give you the best hug. I will give you a good smooch on the cheek and, like, the best hug you have ever had. But, like, Shootin? Shootin scares me. Shootin do be scaring me. Because she's like, ma'am, you are, like, you are less than five feet tall and have ada ada energy. I don't like this. I'm scared. I do not fear many things. But that thing, it terrifies me. Big Red the Second! Hello, hello! Welcome, welcome, Raiders! Hi! Howdy, howdy you doing? It is the Satan himself! How are you doing? Let's, uh, let's do a shout-out really quick for, uh, Big Red. There you go! There we are! Uh, friend, friend of Zeros, uh, lover of Pokemon, 
Uh, drawer of things. Today was D and D, and you did some homebrew maps. Ah, dope. Yeah. Also, lover of dungeons and dungeon dungeons dungeons and dragons, which uh, surprise, I'm a real big fan of. I uh, I've been a big fan since uh, since 2.0, 3.5 was my bread and butter, and I am a lover, an absolute adorer of fifth edition because it's like 3.5, but made a little bit easier to uh, go on the rules. So. You know, also that you don't have to have 19 different books that contradict each other. Look, man, if you've ever played 3.5, 3.5 Dungeons and Dragons was wild because it was like over 20 books and all of them contradicted each other on rules and stuff. Because you were like, you know, the player's handbook says one thing, but the psionics handbook says another thing. And it says I can do what I want because fuck you. And so if you have like rules lawyer friends, if you have rules lawyer friends... Where they're all like, ah, yes, but you see here on page uh, 27 of the, uh, the, the everything about magic's handbook. It says that, uh, in fact, I should be allowed another D6 because fuck you, that's why. I always did 3.5e homebrew. D&D <laughs> &D and Pokemon. We gotta blabber about D&D. &D. <laughs> Perfect rule lawyer voice. Well, I am correct. Not technically correct. That's the best kind of correct. And I will fight my tooth and nail until this is no longer a fun game. Because it's not about having a fun game and building collaborative stories with people. No, it's about fuck you, I'm right. I read all the books where I memorized all the rules and I'm going to make everybody else play my game. <laughs> Nume! Nume, thank you for becoming part of the crew. Thank you. Welcome, welcome aboard. Everybody, we have a new crew. Nume, welcome them. And uh, you're going to have to show them the rope room for the rigging. It's very important. <laughs> Sounds like it's from experience. I have played D&D &D with a lot of people. A lot of people. And yes, we did have a rules lawyer who uh, didn't so much care about as, you know, sometimes the most important rule... Behind the, the unspoken rule, rule zero is, you know, DM makes the rule. So whatever the DM says goes. The second one is, look, if people are having fun, don't ruin it. Like if the DM's letting it slide and you guys are having a good time, that's really all that matters. Because after all, this is a game with your friends. Don't be a dick. I didn't think I would have to say it. In the year of our Lord, 2021, that just, just don't be a dick. Just don't be a dick. That's it. <laughs> but, uh, Sora, Sora, what kind of D&D &D character are you playing? I would, I would love to hear what you have finally decided upon. I do also love talking about, look... Big Red, I'm going to let you know that uh, during during ASMR time, we usually get on a big tangent about me talking about D&D &D characters and things that have happened. I really love how Alter antagonist is. Look, I think that some of the Alters are good, but I am not. I am not a part of that Sunadere is best Dere uh, thing because I actually enjoy them being a little bit more than just oh they were evil but no they're just sunadare now because i actually preferred a uh, much more complex character dragonborn monk path of the four elements so uh you're you're doing you're doing ang but as a dragon you're you're playing dragang that sounds like it would be fun though does ku alter count as sunadare he's not really sunadare He's, he's more, he's more like, I don't really give a, he's more Kudere. He acts like he doesn't give a shit at all. Other than you are a mana battery. That's, that's how his like interactions with you go. But turns out that he does actually care because you, you grow on him like a fucking fungus. Cause I've done all of his interludes and like all of his Valentine's day shit. I, I have Ku Alter. He is my max level 100 servant grailed. Yeah. Yeah. See, Jean's... Jalter Jalter is the one that's Sunadare. That is specifically her. Uh, Saber... Saber... Saber Alter. Um, she's... She's... I wouldn't necessarily call her Sunadare. She's just more bossy. She's just... She's just more bossy. 
she she tries to keep it professional, but she is very bossy. <laughs> but yeah, no, Jalter, Jalter is the Sunadare one. Is just that's it. She's just soon soon. That's the that's the whole shtick now. Um, but but Ku Alter is actually more Ku Dede, where he like tries to act like aloof and stuff, but he actually cares. And you grow on him like a fucking fungus. And he kind of hates it, low-key, at the beginning. But at the end, it's just like, all right, I now have the world's best attack dog. And I, look, all I'm saying is, don't you want to, don't you want to, like, be in the center of that lap while he's got the, like, big tail curled around you and, like, his big arms? Like, he's huge! The boy is huge! He is a, he is a, just a fucking behemoth of a man. You know, you would be protected as fuck. He is a one-man army. And it would be really cute to be like sitting in that lap, just curled up. That'd be cute. I, I, I look. I want art of that. <laughs> I now want art of me in his lap. I would love to play D and D, but the thing is, it's like I would not be comfortable DMing or like streaming it with with people. I mean, I might do that as a Discord night at one point. Is do like a one shot or something? That would be really cool. As a Brit, my nationality demands Nightingale to have my Berserker heart. <laughs> uh, I actually have two D and D sessions going on right now, uh, with with two different groups of people. So I don't know if I could add a third one in as well as my stream schedule. <laughs> so maybe when one of them ends, when one of them ends, I'll think about it. But uh, a one-shot, one time at a Discord night would be kind of fun. Just like a like a dungeon crawl adventure. Kind of like a uh, like a like a temple of temple uh, temple of doom situation, where you you've got to get to a you got to get to a, a a prize at the end, and then that's it. That'd be fun. Hmm. But we've been on a tangent long enough, so. I'm gonna go ahead and keep going back to the game. I see, so you want me to help run this world so you don't have to bother yourself with trivial matters, huh? And by running this world, you also mean taking care of people less inclined to cooperate? Huh, well, I hate to tell you this after you went and summoned me, but uh, I ain't the man for the job. My errors are meant for shooting apples off my son's head and for shooting that scumbag Vok through the heart. I'll never use him to shoot children, so I guess that's that. Sorry. Uh, what will you do now? <clears throat> if that is his reason for refusing to obey me, then those thoughts are unnecessary. There is something inside him that should not be there. Indeed, indeed, I couldn't agree more, but as luck would have it, the next Yuga cycle is almost upon us. All you need to do is remove that defect from him, and he'll have no choice but to serve you faithfully. <laughs> Thought it was only going along with you guys as a hunter for hire. <clears throat> and as a guy being hired, I expect you to pay me for my help. Nobody ever told me there'd be one paying you such a heavy price, considering consider our contract null and void. App for Shifrin! You fool, you already see knows no bounds. What could a half dead archer's arrow hope to do against a god? I hear a voice from a long time ago. One of the records that remains in the shadow's head. A voice dripping with oppressive authority. Intolerant of the slightest defiance. I am told you have some skill with a crossbow. Then go ahead and make this shot. If you succeed, I will overlook your transgressions. A mess of emotions, reluctance, doubt, fear. Each ranged me with those words. But still, I took the shot. I shot an apple off my son's head. Because I had no other choice. That was my profession, after all. I'd made a life of over ever hitting at what I aimed. But I never thought of myself as the god of marksmanship. Besides, even gods are known to miss sometimes. And a hunter always has to consider what will happen if they miss their shot. Because the fact is, the moment of their 
arrow misses, there will be another target that absolutely needs to be hit. So I had another arrow ready to go inside my jacket. If my first arrow failed to pierce the apple, then both my son's world and mine would have ended with that shot. I would at least make sure the beast so needed killing would die with us. You're gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to joint this as a dope stream, though. Uh, little Ebby will we'll be back. Okay, bye-bye! Please, en please enjoy the rest of your day. I hope that you'll be back. Mwah! Here we go. We'll be here. <clears throat> Thankfully, I didn't need to use my second arrow on that day. And even so, I had every confidence in the world. If my first arrow had missed, or rather, the arrow that absolutely needed to hit its target didn't, the fact that there would be another target that needed to be hit meant that my second arrow would surely find its mark. Oh, buddy! Mm -hmm. What? It hit! I always make sure to hit my targets. I can't afford to miss, like the apple on my son's head. But of course, I also have another arrow ready to go just in case I miss. The second arrow is my true noble phantasm. It doesn't matter if my Shvita Shrivens targets an evil Vogt or a god, it'll still find its mark. <laughs> there are some shots you can only make after you already missed. Now I see your noble phantasm interferes with causality. It's a shadow arrow that's guaranteed to hit if the arrow before it misses. And on top of that, you've infused all of Venu's divine power to make doubly sure it hits its target. Though, of course, it still may not nearly be enough to much as scratch him. If this good-for-nothing hunter managed to get a god's attention, even for a few seconds, I'll consider that plenty meaningful in itself, knowing that a human's will reached him. After all, a few seconds gotta count for a lot when you're a god remaking the whole world. Heh, <laughs> surprise. If the look on your face indication, that wasn't nothing for gnaw. Well, I'm just that much happier I took the effort to rouse these, lone, these bones for a final shot. You have 11k points. You know, enjoy- You know what, I wonder what you're saving for. What you saving for, Sora? What you saving all those points for, huh? Huh? The big B is pronounced as an S. Well, it is, it's supposed to be in a set, which is a double S. I, I know how German actually works. I took it for six goddamn years. I hope I do. It is pronounced in a set. It is a double S, not just a one S. It is a double. But uh, it's, it's really hard to read it. I have dyslexia, so I didn't see it as a double S set, but uh, I, I do know what a big B is. So if I had taken longer, uh, I could read it properly, but I just, it's hard to do so when all of the uh, the text is flowing. I'll be honest, you don't like God Juna. I don't like his personality, like in in here, in in the actual Lost Belt, but once he is your servant, his personality like chills out a little bit and he like, okay. So this is kind of a spoiler. So for people who do kind of follow Fate Go and don't know about like the God situation, which we're gonna find out in Lost Belt 5, um, is that gods, which which by the way, we we, we got a bit of a, a, a hint in Lost Belt China and this one is that the closer to godhood they get, the more mechanical their being becomes, which means that they become less human and, and more like a machine. Because we find out in Greek, in, uh, in the next Lost Belt, in Lost Belt Greece, with all the gods like Demeter, uh, Zeus, and all of that, is that they have vents and stuff. They're like mechas. They're like big people mechas. And they have actual like vents and they are very robotic. They have they have like logic matrices and like shit like that. Like the uh like moth moth they from from China. Where they are essentially not really human anymore. They just become like giant mechanical beasts. Um and so that's why uh Arjuna 
god juna the closer he is getting to actual divinity with all of these indian divinities in him the closer he becomes to just being kind of like a machine with like really no personality it is the fact that he is getting closer to being a god is the reason why he has no personality so once you summon him as your servant he kind of loses a bit of the divinity that he's got like here in the story and um becomes more human like and has a bit more of a conflicting personality because he's supposed to encompass both good and evil he has both of those traits <laughs> i'm not really saving them for anything i only spend points during the asmr streams i see i see i join in to pearl nerding out about fate lore yeah welcome to me nerding out about shit so like i understand why they made him so bland in this one it is it is more of a hint it's more of leaving breadcrumbs for the next Lost Belt because the next Lost Belt is the one where we learn a lot about how divinity works in fate lore. Like how, how gods work. Because Ishtar was a god, but she was, you know, she, she was, we didn't see her as a god in a full human body. No, we saw her like Lakshmi where she was, it had a, had a, had a human be part of her core she was just the, the the personality that took over a human body a human vessel she became a divine vessel instead of being like what god juna is which is close enough to actual divinity as a god would be in their heyday so that's why she had like a personality and lots of stuff that you know made her interesting and fun versus what we get here I am such a dork. I I I I love Fate Go too much. Also, welcome, welcome aboard, uh, Soma Regal and Astrid twenty four forty one to the SS Otterworldly Traveler. Please enjoy your vacations. Thank you guys so much for the follow. I do appreciate all of that. Yeah, and the Greek gods are a holes. I love this explanation. Please pop off more. Um, I I I only have certain ones that I can just. Your love, your love, Fate Go just just enough i think speaking of ishtar you mean speaking speaking of one of my favorite archers ever uh welcome welcome dracius also to the ss otterworldly traveler please enjoy your vacation thank you so much for the follow i do appreciate it thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you. i want to make a full team of fates day night people i mean go off do it i mean poseidon and Zeus are such a scumbag Zeus is a scumbag. Zeus is literally the king of scumbags. Like, to be fair, all the Greek gods are very flawed. Like, all of them are very, very flawed. Actually educated about fate lore, Pog. Look, um, I'm, I'm not like, I'm not like a super like, ah, uh, yes, I have all of the, uh, all of the information, but I read a lot of the, uh, the, the like extra information that you get from like servant bonds. Uh, I read a lot of the, the like Lost Belt like explanations. I've watched uh, the Fate Grand Order movies. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Um, and uh, some of it you can just make logical leaps from like events and like little bits of lore that they kind of just kind of leave everywhere. Um, I'm really looking forward to when we get to, uh, to, to Camelot, Lost Belt Camelot personally, because I, out of all of the saber faces, that there are, because there are many. There are many. I can't be mad that Morgan Le Fay is one because as Arthurian lore, you know, dictates, Morgan Le Fay was Arthur's half-sister. They they would look alike if they both look like Uther Pendragon. That's how fucking genetics work. Like, the that's the one where I'm like, all right, I can forgive you. I can forgive you for looking like a saber face because it actually canonically makes fucking sense. Like Mordred, Mordred would also be like a saber face that makes sense because one, it was born of Arthur and two, uh, Morrigan. So it would look the most like a saber face, canonically accurate saber face. Whoa. Yeah. And the fact that, uh, it, it's, it's saber alters face makes the most sense because Morrigan was diametrically opposed to Arthur. Uther is secretly the true saber face. <laughs> Uther Pendragon secretly, secretly the the one true saber face. We just get to see him. 
<laughs> we see him. You know, honestly, I feel like Merlin gets too much of a bad rap for, like, everything that went down when, like, he was not really the mastermind. He was just more of, like, the the Uther's, like, right-hand man. Like, Uther Pendragon is really the shit show here. <laughs> he is... He is the shit show, all right? He is a terrible man. He was the one that was like, man, I really can't focus on running my country. So, Mare, can you do me a favor? Transform me into this other dude so I can go plow his wife. And then uh, when I when I tell him about it, I'm going to steal his wife from him because, you know, I'm going to have him killed. And then she'll be my wife. And, and then Merlin's just kind of sitting there like, Man, I don't really have anywhere to go. I kind of got, like, shoosted from Wales, which my mom was kind of the, like, princess. But my dad was an incubus, so I ain't got anywhere really safe to call home. So I really don't have the option to say no. But I guess. <laughs> the beefiest dude with a saber's face. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, like, Uther Pendragon is the one who, like, deserves all the hate. Like, Merlin has to bear the sins of Uther Pendragon, and I don't feel like that's entirely fair. Granted, he's a fairy. They 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 went with the uh, Incubus being, you know, the, the Celtic lore, essentially being unseely fae. So, yeah, he's a prankster. He's a trickster. He's kind of a piece of shit, but, like, in an adorable way, like a puck or a brownie. You know, he's he's being silly. He's not going to actually do anything that's going to, you know, damage the world unless he really has to to avoid calamity, which is why he's good. Why his alignment is good. Granted, the biggest lie ever is that they put lawful right next to it. I'm like, nah, man, this bitch chaotic. He's a fairy. There ain't nothing lawful about fairies. Look, that ain't happening. Are you familiar with the Green Knight? Are, you're asking if I am familiar with Gawain? If I am, if I am familiar with the himbo. <laughs> the landlord is asking me to commit evil crimes again or I'll be homeless. Merlin, probably Merlin fucking definitely. <laughs> the green knight. He was, he was called the green knight. He was called the, the fairy knight. Or are you talking about Lancelot? Because he was technically the one that was the lady of the lake was, was, was picked. But there is other other lore that ties Gawain is to being the the chosen by the fairies, chosen by the fairy people. It depends on which one. There's like four versions of Arthurian legends. That's why there's three different Merlins. One's an old man with a beard. One's a half incubus, and one is a uh, is not an incubus, but he used fairies to gain magic, which is another one talking about the evil knight who wears green armor oh okay see there is a there is an arthurian legend part that gawain is considered the green knight or the knight of the fairies because fairies chose him because he was a uh, he was good and then of course there's there's always my favorite which is the 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 holy grail really wants to go to percival oh the green knight was also a woman yeah there's 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 that one as well uh which I think is what they're, they're the what is it the altar the uh, the the Gawain the female Gawain for Lost Belt Six for Camelot I think is supposed to be in reference to that one is supposed to be in reference to uh, like female female Gawain they kind of smushed both of those legends together because she is supposed to be a fairy I think like part of the fairy guard. But my favorite is just that the the, the Holy Grail. Which, by the way, all, all of the, like, tests are supposed to be, like, impassable and shit. But, like, Percival. Percival, who is known to be the most good and pure of heart of all the knights. Like, the fucking, the fucking Holy Grail gave him, like, the easiest test because it won. It knew that Percival was, like, the goodest boy of all the knights. And it wanted Percival to, like, find him. Find, find it. And it, like... All right, it, it does it three different times, three or four different times. And like one of them is, bruh, there's this king. He invites you to like his castle. And like all Percival had to do was ask the king, like who was coughing, like during this big speech or whatnot, like, yo, bro, you okay? Like that's all he had to do was just like ask genuinely if the if the king in this like simulation that, uh, that the grail made as like a big illusionary thing is like a test. Just ask him if he's okay. But 
Percival respects all the other knights so much that one of them, I can't remember which one, but probably like Tristan or somebody was like, hey, yeah, it's rude to like in in a in like a businessy setting to like do to like question the king about personal matters. You save that for like in private. So like there was like a big dinner uh, that was going on in this hall that was like this simulation that the uh, that the the Holy Grail made. And all he had to do was ask, like, hey, King, bro, are you okay? And he doesn't because one of the other knights told him it wasn't polite to do so. So he just sat there the entire time during this feast while this, like, fake man the Grail, like, made is, like, hawking up a lung. Like, he is dying over there. But it's just Percival just sitting there, just, like, eating continuously, just being like, oh, the weather is nice. Lol, Percival is the goodest boy. The Green Knight is to, to never burn a bet. Burkita, the Green Knight, was kind of a douche. Plays with Gwen's emotions all because Morgan Le Fay was bored. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of shit like that where it's kind of like, you know Canterbury Tales? Arthurian legend be like that, but it also has AU. So it's like Canterbury Tales. AU. So there's like five different versions of Arthurian lore depending on one, the area, because Britannia was not just the UK. It was trying to also, you know, expand outwards. So you get you get a lot of interesting lore from just kind of like an overall Celtic sense from different areas having different versions of the same tale. And I think that's uh that's that's truthfully I think my favorite part of Arthurian like legendary is the fact that different areas have slightly different variations of the same tales. Which is, you know, why there's three different Merlins. <laughs> or, like... You want... Yo, there's already a whole bunch of Arthurian AU. You want my take? My take got cannon Buddha. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. That's, that's like the one constant is that Morrigan was not a good person. <laughs> was like, nope, nope. She a bitch. <laughs> she a bitch who wanted power. Like, some of them, it makes sense to why she was evil. Because, you know, she is supposedly the firstborn of Uther's children. She was the firstborn, and he did not have any other sons. So, originally, like, she felt the, the kingdom was entitled to her. You know, because she was the only child. And then, you know, he goes off with Merlin's help to, you know, to raise a son, quote unquote. Now, this is taking it as, you know, the usual, not necessarily fate's rendition of it, but that, as you know, historically, females could not, through most of, like, any, any time, inherit property or kingdoms and rule them in such a way. Uh, they had to be married. Oh, thank you so much for the Atawata. Noir, Noir, thank you. Thank you. I took a drink. Mm. So, you know, she she's like, all right, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to get married. But I, I, I fine. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with like, you know, playing my husband like a fiddle. I am a smart woman. I understand magic, you know, later on in life. You know, she's 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 ready to like be the head of this kingdom. And then next thing you know, when Uther's got this whole like, all right, Merlin, I'm going to need you to, like, test who's going to become the next king of England. And Merlin's like, all right, I'm going to shove this sword in this stone. Because there is only one person who's going to get it. Because, you know, Merlin and, uh, and, and uh, one family are the only people who kind of know that the next king of England is going to be, is going to be Arthur. You're familiar with one version of the Green Knight and it's the version from DreamWorks Troll Hunters. I see. Speaking of women getting fucked over by the world, the entire reason the Holy Romanian Empire ever persists because the Lord Leo III refused to ever recognize de facto Empress of Constantinople. <laughs> see, it, look, look, it's just women were property and that's and they weren't allowed anything good and that's basically how history was. But yeah, so look, all of this could have been avoided. But you know that's because that's how history was. It it made a it made a very interesting story overall. 
And this has been my Arthurian uh, lore dump with chat. I will probably get back to actually voicing this cutscene because we've been on it for like 20 minutes. Your entire being has become unnecessary. <laughs> you think I didn't see this coming? I know how close I am to dying better than anyone. <laughs> Merlin abusing his clairvoyance while people around him are confused that Uther's on a squatter is sho shoving swords into rocks. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. Look, I love Merlin. I love him. He he tries to just be like, oh, look, I'm a piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit. But he's actually a decent person. He's 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 horny. He's horny and mischievous, but he's actually a good guy. Like, he's not actually terrible. And as fairies go, as fairies go, he's a fucking saint. I have absolutely no clue about anything of this lore, but I love the passion. Good! Because you know what I'm made out of? 99.9% .9 passion and 0.01% adorability. Or did I get those wrong? Did I mix those up again? Look, sexy Merlin casino outfit. Oh, yeah. Look, I'm excited. I'm excited. I've waited two years for this. I've waited two years for this. Two long years. Marilyn, come home. Come home and bully me like I deserve. <laughs> come home and bully me and support my coup altar. Thank you. <laughs> but like, honestly, fair. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. More sidebar. We're talking about fairies. You know what? Nep Nepalutun. Nepalutun. Thank you. Thank you so much for following. You know what? I, I hope that you were enjoying your vacation. Thank you so much for the follow. I do appreciate it. Thank you and welcome aboard. All right. So yeah, we're going to talk about fairies. All right. <clears throat> because we're going we gonna to talk about fairies. So fairies fall into two groups. And these general two groups are what are called Seelie Fae and Unseelie Fae. Now... Generally, the biggest, uh, biggest distinguisher that you have, I'm dying over here, literally. Yeah, you know, he, he, we're just going to extend out this death scene. You know, it's fine. So anyway, Seely and Unseely Faye, the like biggest de facto thing that you can like to separate them is that Unseely Faye usually feed off of human something. Seely Faye are more like nature fairies. They're mischievous and, you know, they're not necessarily good, but they are, they don't take from humans. They don't, they don't take things like physically from them, like their blood or their teeth or their eyes or like stuff like that, that they don't feed off humans. Malicious versus not malicious is a pretty good distinction. Yeah, but I feel like, you know, Seely Faye can be malicious i don't want to say that they can't because if you cross them or like you offend them because they have different um they have different rules than like people do and what they consider courtesy is different from what we would consider being courteous and when when you are courteous to a seely fey uh they they will they will uh do their best to lawyer language around and stuff um, you know, to, to their advantage, uh, to get stuff from you, i.e. like, you know, a, a good laugh or a giggle, or if they really enjoy you, you know, they'll, they'll bless you and stuff. If you are, if you are kind and courteous to them, if you know how to treat a fairy, like that's Seelie Fae are the ones you want. In what legend is Oberon known as the fairy king? Uh, that would be, and I believe, a Midnight Summer's Dream. I believe that is a, uh, <laughs> that's from Shakespeare. Uh, I don't know if specifically that he was known um, through other legends before that 100%. But from what we know of now, there's so much that just, you know, have him and Titania. Like, I think that that just kind of exploded. If there was a side mention of them beforehand, I'm not sure. Yeah. Um. 
But basically, um, there were there are court systems. Now, I don't know if there was necessarily a named king and queen before Titania and Oberon, of course, but there were court systems where the Seely and Unseely Fae would deal with each other because they lived in Avalon, essentially the, the land of fairies, the land of magic, which was simultaneously in the same realm as our own, but separated. Yes, as as king. All right, I was correct. That, that, that was that his first mention. Okay, good. I didn't want to say that, you know, there could have been some story somewhere long before Shakespeare decided, all right, fuck it, here we go. Uh, because, you know, I don't know every single fairy story ever written ever. Or, you know, that there may have been some where they died out, where they weren't made famous and weren't, you know, told orally through, you know, generations of generations of generations of people. So I didn't I didn't want to say it that that there definitely wasn't, but that was the only one I, I knew. Um will the notorious will I am. Um anyway. So the court system would have them, you know, just kind of dealing with each other. There was technically two separate courts uh, of of, peop of of fairies, and there was a king and queen that would run those courts. Are, so why are we talking about D&D? No, we're not talking about D&D. We're talking about just general fairy lore. Uh, welcome, welcome aboard Galactic Selkie to the SS Auto Worldly Traveler. Please enjoy your vacation. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so... You know, as fairies go, Merlin would be considered an unseely fae because he feeds on human something. He would be part of the 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 unseely fae court because that's what Celtically succubi were. They fed off human lust. They fed off their dreams. They fed off of humans. So they would belong to that court. And, um... Merlin is not a bad unseely fate. Like, is not he's not bad. They they feed off emotions, but he is not evil. Usually, unseely fate are manipulative. They very much want to keep their prey and kind of torture them or like take from them like eyes, teeth, and do so in like a very vindictive manner. So the fact that Merlin is an unseely fae, essentially, but who fights what is considered, like, his nature to, like, fuck over other people and only does so in, like, a very, like, light and joking manner, like, in a, like, a little trolly manner, like a brownie, is truly that he is probably the best version of an unseely fae that you could run into. He's he's just a trickster. He's he's funny. He, he does so for a giggle or a laugh. Not necessarily that he would, you know... Steal your babies. <laughs> Steal your babies. Swap them with a fairy because, you know, he, he wants to, to raise this child uh, because he's going to then make it his bride. That is an actual thing that was very common was, uh, was that they would swap it for a changeling uh, because they wanted this human child to take and mold and make their bride forever. No wonder Artori and the Knights uh, have a mixed relationship with him. Yeah, he's he's not evil. He's actually really good for what he is. And I feel like part of that is the, you know, the half-human, you know, goings on there. Uh, where, you know, he has a different moral compass than what a, like, fairy would. <laughs> oh my god, this whole fairy talk is literally just dissertation of why Marilyn is the best husband and when he will be mine. <laughs> Look, I, look, I mean, you're not 100% wrong. You're not 100% wrong. <laughs> but it is, it is an explanation as to why I enjoy his character. And the, the love and care that has been placed in making characters like Merlin in the Knights of the Round Table and stuff like that. That they are probably arguably, arguably the best characters written versus the, versus the rest of them in Fate Grand Order. May I know what we are talking about? We were talking about uh, Celtic fairy lore. Uh, we were talking about Fate Grand Order and how it like versions involved Merlin and and like all the different AU factions of Arthurian legend from all the different places. Are we gonna do the summer court now? 
We we could do the summer court. We could do the summer court. <laughs> Look, L over here just being like, I'm about to just just dye my hair white. About to put on a pastel goth looking outfit and be like, hey. Hi. What up? Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. <laughs> pretending to understand all this it is a lot it is it is a lot i could make a whole dissertation about arthurian legend specifically and how it refers to like fairies and fairy courts <laughs> you could kevin dummy l step l what are you doing <laughs> back to the game so that we aren't uh I learned a lot of this from D&D. Yeah, D&D takes up from a lot from that. <laughs> so, yeah. Back to the game. Back to William Tell dying. <laughs> He's been like this for 20 minutes. Okay. <clears throat> horny energy has entered the chat. You act like horny energy has left the chat. <laughs> He's just like, let me die already. No, you're going to suffer. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm sorry, William. I'm sorry. William, I'm sorry. But you know, here we go. <clears throat> but you know, the wounded quarry is the most dangerous in the end as it closes in. There's nothing stronger nor more dangerous than a cornered animal. And I know that better than most. And, uh, oh, and one last warning before you go. I told uh, Ask Clefius this too, but uh, the reason you summoned me is the last. It's because you felt a regular old human would not would be a good match for a god, right? Even if you only realize it subconsciously, that doesn't make it any less true. Ask Clapius. Yep, as Clefius. The, uh, the, uh, the son of Apollo, I believe. We we thought we were throwing people in the brig. Turns out this entire stream is in the brig. Yes, it is. We are streaming live from the brig. <laughs> and if you didn't realize what that means, somebody even more desperately cornered me is going to end up firing a third arrow. Now I wonder who that would have been up being. <laughs> God has cast his gaze downward. You have become unnecessary. Furthermore... Oh no! Oh no! I just gonna die! God has also seen. These defects are unnecessary and therefore evil. Be gone, evil. You are not needed. In the new Yuga, the new world. I'm a fire emblem! I will now wield the sword of the God who ends all things. I will cut off this world from the rift in the world made by the blade. Cure, clear purification will birth forth. Terminus and Genesis will cycle anew. Sword of dissolution, let your blade fall. Mahaparaya. Mahapralaya. I don't know how to <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce these uh, Indian words. Welcome, welcome aboard Angel Studio Z to the SS Otterworldly Traveler. Please enjoy your vacation. Thank you so much for the follow. We just, we just, we just watched the world end. I don't know about defective. But I can tell that I'm not really me if I can't remember my son. Oh, William, Wilhelm, Wilhelm Tell. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, there you are. It's all right. It's all right now. Took me a while, but I finally remembered. Sorry I couldn't be the father you deserved. Oh, all you remember is his son. Oh, I'll go cry. I'm crying in the club right now. I'm crying in the club. I'm crying. You know, that's the reason why I wanted to just break into Merlin lore. It's definitely not because that uh that this was gonna get me crying like a big fucking baby the entire ass time. Oh man. Just uh just be me over here crying in the club. It's fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> 
I'll be okay. I believe in me. I definitely don't need to cry. It's fine. <clears throat> the zero sale has entered a stable zone. We should finally be safe here, at least for a while. Kept do I need a hanky? I'll be okay. I'll just be Holmes. I'll just be I'll just be a I'll just be a bit of a prat. It's fine. <clears throat> Once again, we've escaped for the skier by the skin of our teeth. I was hoping to never have to cut it that close again. Uh. Hey, I'm sorry about that. I hope it's okay. <clears throat> You are as tasteless as a tiger shark. Do you always bring your enemies with you like this? <laughs> oh, isn't it the strange servant I saw in the wandering sea? I didn't know you were here, too. As you can see, though, I'm currently nothing more than a fellow fugitive. And as they say, no road is long without good company, and love makes the world go round. What a perfect example of a strange bedfellows. Or shipmates, if you will. <laughs> Of course, this is strictly a temporary business arrangement, I, but I do hope we can get along for its duration, of course. Likewise. Oh, and not so much as a finger on the instruments, please. If you so much as breathe on them, Mr. Detective there is going to open up a can of Baratsu on your ass. <laughs> no, no. I thank you not to refer to my detective as you would a knife. Never mind that my deductions are sharp that ones could cut themselves on them. Even I would need a hot shower if I were to get the blood of so toxic a vixen upon me. Oh my, the office banter is so pointed here. You're not picking a fight with me, are you? <laughs> Awkward! Hey, what I want to know is why is no one pointing out a uh, Koyasaya's outfit just magically kind of fixed itself? She even looks good in traditional Indian outfit, complete with a sari. She an angel, uh, a demon, after all. Uh, all right, enough of the small talk. We have a great deal of questions and precious little time. Mm, let us begin with the present circumstances. Uh, why did you seek refuge aboard the border? Aren't you with the Lost Belts, or rather, the Foreign Gold? Mm, well, you know our hands. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Well, you know how bands sometimes split up because the creative differences. It's a lot like that, I think. Pepperoncino here can at least attest to it. I never liked this one much to begin with and was planning on washing my hands with him once he'd served his purpose, but ended up beating me to the punch. He filled Arjuna's ears with all sort of nonsense about me and now I'm officially persona non grata in this India. That said, I never had much of an opinion about this lost belt to begin with, so I'm not too broken up that I've been exiled from it now. What class was Sherlock when he first showed up? Um, I believe the first one... Um, I believe he, he lied. He, he said it was different. Let me, let me, let me try and remember. Because um, I know the Grail won't allow him to be... Uh, yeah, I think it was Caster, maybe? See, the Grail won't allow him to be summonable as a Caster actually because his his like want of infinite knowledge is is too dangerous to be left in the hands of actual human beings so i think that's why he is he is summoned as a ruler to uh to basically think of himself as sherlock holmes could literally figure out the entirety of the universe as a caster like a, could figure out like how the throne and everything works counterforce all of the systems that like are in place for the universe to keep itself and check its imbalances he could figure that out so the grail will not allow him to be summoned as a caster he is a ruler because he that is the only way to keep him technically enforcing the rules <laughs> yeah no Look, you know what, Dracius, I'm glad that you you also under that somebody is here that's like, yes, no, I understand fate lore very good. And uh, yes, she is very correct. She is she is not lying to you. This is this is how this works. <laughs> Sherlock is kind of fucking nutty. He is. He is. But you uh, you should not trust him 100 percent of the time because there has been illusions that uh, he is not entirely as he seems. So while he is summonable as a ruler. I wonder if he has an alternate class as a foreigner. Or at least as like a... Um, 
people speculate. People speculate that technically he is a sleeper agent of the foreign god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Master Pro is a walking floor textbook. <laughs> I just really like Fate Go, and I have friends, and we talk about this shit all the time. That's that's literally all it is. It's wild. <clears throat> Ah, uh, but for the time being, I think I'll stick around a while longer. Let's just say I have my reasons. Moriarty versus Sherlock in alternative classes for a one-off event, calling it now. <gasps> Dude, that would be so dope. <laughs> that would be so dope, honestly. Also, I really do like Moriarty. Like, if I, I love both of them. Like, I love them. Low-key, I do. Uh, so I would I would actually be very very happy to see something like that like alternate alternate classes where they like where Sherlock is evil but Moriarty is good. I love them. I honestly love them. Also, uh, we've we've got a per redeem, so I'm gonna be purring for the next minute. So please enjoy that. <laughs> There you go. There's been a purr for about a minute. So please enjoy that. <clears throat> ah, I thought as much. Thought as much about what? Pepperuccino's a traitor. <laughs> Fuck the lore. I want the purr. <laughs> it's a perfect opportunity. Ooh, a swing and a miss. I haven't betrayed anyone, but thanks for playing. My goal as a crypto is to grow my tree of emptiness. And I certainly haven't abandoned it. I'm not on bad terms with anyone from Team A, and I have no intention of defying the foreign god either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you agree, Poor? Moriarty isn't evil because no one who is evil could give us absolute precious being, of which is Summer Fran. Um, I feel like Moriarty is is technically he does evil things but is really actually not a symbol of evil i find him as more of chaotic neutral because he sees things and wants to mess with it but everything that he does he doesn't do for like he doesn't do evil because of evil reason like he does it because he has a he he wants something or he wants to you know prove something so i consider him more of like chaotic neutral chaotic neutral snarky man so I don't think he's evil. I just think he's kind of, you know, sometimes a dick. <laughs> I, <laughs> Summer Fran is the perfect get out of jail free card for evilness. Summer Fran is precious. I love her. Also, welcome, welcome Project Dead Man to the SS Otterworldly, uh, to the Otterworldly Traveler. Please enjoy your vacation. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Hmm, the only ones I don't trust. Are you alter egos? I mean, how could I? You all, you all are the definition of shady. It's because I have my doubts about you three that I even shared the information I have with Pearl. I thought I could gain some insight from a different perspective on the situation, but I'm sure Holmesy's already deduced as much. Indeed, I was fully aware that you were probing our goals and perspectives, but of course I allowed it as I could tell. You are doing so from a place of fairness rather than malice. Given the current state of the world, it doesn't take much thought to realize this is a fatal contradiction. The fact that Miss Koyasaka here right now is only further to serve to reinforce it. While I do think and feel as though I've already a firm grasp on the answer, I do feel as though it would be improper of me to be the one to explain it, of course. 
<laughs> Easiest way to raid in Moriarty's evil schemes. Moriarty, stop being evil or I'll tell Fran. I will tell your daughter what you're doing. No, don't let her know. I don't want her to be. I don't want. <clears throat> uh, uh, don't, don't, don't tell her. I, I don't want her to be upset with Papa. No, no, please. Please don't tell her. Please. No, 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 no. All right, I'll stop. It's fine. I didn't do it because you told me to. For Fred. I did it for Fred. She's the most precious babe. <laughs> just me. Me. Congratulations. I'm now just voice acting all the time. <laughs> Uh, so, as one of those directly involved, uh, I would like to ask you about this great mystery we can no longer ignore. Uh, Scandinavia Pepperoncino. Oh, that's sweet. How can you be so kind and handsome and yet so unpopular? Is it because you're inhuman at heart? Just... All right, then. Don't mind if I do. Koyasaka, can you confirm this for me, right? The girls of the cryptos and the foreign god disciples don't completely line up, do they? Nope. That's why he had to force y'all. Uh, what do you mean? Let me be clear. The world is headed towards oblivion. That way it's been run now. It can't possibly end up any halfway decent. Once it's completely purged of evil, we're not going to have a perfect world he's aiming for. We'll be left with a world of total nothingness. It's fair to say that Arjuna has gone completely off the rails. But being the bigger problem is that your disciples aren't doing anything to stop him. If anything, that treacherous snake of a man is pushing him to hurry things along. Why? The way things are going now, both this lost belt and the tree of emptiness will be lost forever. So, why aren't you two trying to stop that? <laughs> that was a hint, Sherlock, is it what he seems? Yeah. <clears throat> they they leave little stuff like that. That's why people this this is some of the reasons why people are like suspecting that, you know, don't trust Sherlock 100% of the time. You know, there's there's something shady going on here. <clears throat> Furthermore, gave, furthermore, given the state that we found you in, it seems that there's also every possibility that even you the disciples do not share a common goal. Tell us, what exactly are you? <laughs> Good question. I suppose it, if it will pay my fare, then I'll answer you as far as I'm able to. I do indeed have my own adorable goals I'm working towards. Adorable goals that neither the cryptos nor that shitty monk share. I sincerely doubt there's anything adorable about them. What are they? Well, there's tormenting humans. Oh, and collecting regional monsters, I suppose. It's a bit of a hobby of mine. Investigating new and unusual creatures. This lost belt has both Kali and Sacred Beast. I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, what can you tell us about the other alter ego? Oh, I'm afraid that's one I can't answer. It would violate the non-disclosure agreement in the contract I signed with the foreign god. The most I can say that he and I are most certainly do not get along, as you can tell from my presence here. The three alter egos may have different approaches due to different personalities, but share one common goal. Hello, hello, Wolf Lord. Hello, good evening, Tide. They've been setting it up for years. Oh, sometimes Sherlock just doesn't share important info about our complacency. And that's definitely going to come and bite us hard. Yeah, see, they it, it's Chekhov's gun, which, by the way, it was... Chekhov's gun was supposedly not supposed to be for things that are, like, a story. Chekhov's gun was supposed to be... Uh, a, an idea for like how plays are written so not necessarily like how story like novels and stuff go they were supposed to be for how if there's a prop an important prop that you point out in a play in like the first scene it's gonna get used it's not gonna be it's gonna be important like that's that's what Chekhov's gun is and since we have adapted it from live action like playwriting and stuff like that to visual games, novels, like little bits of stuff like that where, you, you know, just the same sentence just keeps getting repeated and repeated and repeated or people keep making references to one item, you know, that it's going to come back. Something, they're not just, you know, hammering this into your brain for you not to fucking remember. 
wait, what's happening? Um, so we we were talking about lore stuff. We were talking we were talking about lore stuff. Um, very very importantly, you know how people uh speculate that there's you know that Holmes is gonna bite us in the ass that he's either like some sort of missionary of the foreign god or something is not a hundred percent right with him, Wolf Lord. That uh, that they keep hinting that Sherlock isn't all that he seems. And it has been since we met him in, um, what was it, in, in Atlas, since we met him. And then Holmes, best boy, question mark. Uh, Holmes is not 100% as he appears. And when that's going to come bite us in the butt, we have no idea. But it's important to remember that because we have, we have heard this on multiple times. You know, don't 100% trust him. Even what is it in Shinjuku when Moriarty is talking to us, when he is not, you know, evil Moriarty, when he's like the the, the everything that's good Moriarty, you know, when he's separated during the Shinjuku like extra singularity thing that was going on. He even tells us, hey, Sherlock isn't all that he seems. Sherlock isn't 100% good. Like, you know, like he would like to be believed as. Other, he is the world's greatest detective, but there's something wrong with him. Like, he gives us that warning. Well, yeah, nobody is 100% good. But you know what I'm talking about. Like, there's there's something off about him. There's something that he's not telling you. And, you know... And considering the fact that at that point in time when he tells us, we don't know that, oh, this is Moriarty's 100% like... Because that was what Shinju Hu was, is that... It separated Moriarty's, like, moral compass. Like, he was 100% evil on one side and 100% good on the other side. And, like, we had the part that was 100% good. So the 100% good Moriarty is warning us, is telling us, is, is you know, without any, like, what is it, alternative, like, you know, what you would consider, oh, no, Moriarty's just telling us this because, you know, obviously Sherlock is his rival and stuff and obviously he doesn't like him. No, 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 no. There's no ulterior motive. There's there's nothing. There's there's not a defining like thing that he can get out of this. He is warning us because he cares that there's something up with uh with Sherlock Holmes. There's something wrong with him. So, you know, it's been it's been hammered into us like four or five times now. So like important, important to remember. Ah, uh, all three alter egos want to grow the tree of emptiness to completion. Uh, I see. Uh, is that true for Father Kotome, then? I mean, Rasputin, too? Of course. <laughs> Koto, Kotomine, Kotomine. I can, I can never, I don't know how to pronounce fucking Japanese names half the time. Welcome, welcome, Miasma Grimm, to the SS Otter Rolly Traveler. Please enjoy your vacation. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Ra ra Rasputin is Russia's greatest love machine. <laughs> oh, goodness, thanks. Now that song's going to be playing in my head for the rest of time. Of course. But you know what happened in the Russia Lost Belt? What with its king and Karak being who they are? I hate him. I hate him because he. I hate him because he killed Da Vinci. I love Da Binky. I love her. Also, welcome, welcome aboard, partly Sheba, to the SS Otter Worldly Traveler. Please enjoy your vacation. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the follows. I appreciate it. Yeah, he killed Caster Da Binky. I love Da Binky. She was Da Vinci. She was. She was Leonardo. I am Da Vinci. I am the best Binci love her you know what a moment for one's homies all right moment over i mean i did get lolly vinky in return that is true i did get lolinardo da vinky da baby <laughs> i did i did get her so i am happy but but i do miss caster da vinci i do miss her she was great Yeah, technically we got uh what is it? She she made Ryder <laughs> She made Ryder Da Vinci. 
She made Ryder Da Vinci in the case to, to operate the shadow border, like integrated it into the system um, and like implanted like her personality and stuff like with it. Um, but, but, uh, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to, to tell you that that's kind of a big spoiler, but, uh, yeah, she doesn't get transformed into a baby or anything. No, no, no. She, uh, she perished. She died. <laughs> she died and fucking, fucking Kotomine did it. Kotomine did it. He killed her like a bitch. But. To be fair, she went on a fucking blaze of glory like a badass, so. Uh, welcome, welcome aboard, uh, Smirky Dorito to the SS Otter World of Traveler. Please enjoy your vacation. Thank you so much for the, uh, for the follow. Are you on a submarine now? Uh, currently we are on the Shadow Border, which is an all-terrain vehicle that can also fly through alternative space. Essentially, that we are we are in a, in a glorified tank. And we are technically outside of space and time while we are zero sailing while uh, Arjuna is trying to remake the world. All right. <clears throat> Well, despite what you might think, this priest is a genuine saint, complete with the ability to know the future. I guess you'd say he can make prophecies? Eh. And apparently he prophesied that the Russian lost belt was only ever going to end poorly and acted accordingly. So sad. All right. Well, that's enough for me. I believe I've more than paid my fare by now. Oh, no, you haven't. Not by a long shot. It costs a lot more than that to ride my ship. Uh, leaving the question of whether or not it's your ship aside, I do agree that she has only begun to pay her fare. Oh, come now. Do you have any idea how much Rasputin secrets would normally cost? That priest never says a word about himself, you know. It wasn't easy to part with them, but since doing so would be his problem more than mine, I figured I could share with you as a little bonus of sorts. So she's willing to sell out her teammates' skills, but not her own secrets. Hmm. Talk about dead-eyed, dyed-to-the-wool misanthrope. It's like everything she does is designed to piss others off. I have a feeling we're not going to get anything from her that she's not willing to give us. Hmm. For now, though, I guess we should just be glad I was able to confirm my hypothesis. I wonder just how much uh, Chris Chara knows about the foreign god's identity and objective. At any rate, I no longer have any interest in what happens to this world. I am, as they say, over it. So by all means, go ahead, mess with it as much as you'd like. I'd be especially happy if you could give that shitty monk some much-needed comeuppance, of course. Do you really think we are done here? We saved you when you were at death's door, and I doubt you're anywhere close to your own strength yet. Well, to put it another way, you have nowhere to run, and your life's in our hands now. Oh my, does that mean your gentlemanly, uh, <clears throat> facade is crumbling now that I'm your prisoner? I wonder whatever you're going to do to me. Are you going to bind my limbs and throw me in the solitary? Chop me into tiny pieces? Like what happened in China? What? No, no, I was just referring to your promise to temporarily cooperate with us, you strange woman. Though that's not to say we won't take precautions, of course. I trust there won't be any issue letting her out of here along with her. <clears throat> I highly doubt it. Not with Rama, Ganesha, and Lakshmi out keeping an eye on her. Once we have our safety measures, of course, I believe, uh, our most prudent course of action will to be acting upon this new information. And, of course, when the situation calls for it, I, we would like, of course, you to assist us in battle. At the moment, I believe that covers the manner of assistance we were expecting from you. Oh, well, I promise I can't be too much help in combat, but I certainly fight well enough to protect my own life, of course. And if you're treating me as a guest rather than prisoner, I'll agree with the information I shared doesn't cover my fare. So rest assured, I'll be glad to work off the rest. I certainly don't want to be in debt to humans, after all. Well, if nothing else, at least we made through another cataclysm unscathed. 
I think we've all earned a little break today, so why don't we uh, kick back and relax and we wait for the outside world to stabilize. If all goes well, maybe we'll even be able to settle things during the next Yuga cycle. Oh. Uh, so you are the one I heard on the transmission. I go by Captain right now, though the name has no particular meaning. Not that I have any other more meaningful name to go by right now, anyway. Uh, good to meet you, uh, Captain. I am... You don't have to tell me. I know who you are. Uh, do you mean that we have met somewhere before? <clears throat> of course not. What, would ma what makes you think that? Hmm. I guess it would be by your scent? My scent? Well, I guess I can understand that more than if I could say my appearance. Anyway, I'm afraid I've got a lot of work I need to get back to. You should rest now, while you can. Bye, Nemo! You know, for the memes, for the memes, I'm gonna have to roll on Nemo. <laughs> for the memes, I'm gonna have to roll on Captain Nemo. I'm gonna have to roll on him real bad. <laughs> But he got to, yeah, but Captain Nemo got demoted. He's now Director Nemo. Thanks, Director Nemo. <laughs> and there goes the Saint Courts. Nah, Merlin's where my Saint Courts about to be dipped. All of them, the whole thing. Okay, bye, Nemo. <laughs> I love him. I wonder why he's avoiding me. I don't remember wronging him. Although, that I look in his eyes, was it nervousness? Fear? No way. I think it may have been guilt. No battles, just, just lots of talking. Dracius, I love it. I love it. I love it. Phew! I, like, don't think I've ever been so happy to see the sky. There really is something about seeing it for, like, the first time in a while that appears to even a diehard shut-in like me. Oh, boy. Yeah, no. Girl, I thought you never left home. Like, how would I go get food or go to the bathroom? Of course, I go out when I gotta. Not more, no less. I always enjoyed the early mornings when I, like, have to run down to the convenience store to, like, replenish my snack supplies after fighting a massive raid for three days straight. Girl, me, when Endwalker comes. Girl is literally just me when Endwalker comes. Like, I hope that you are all ready for just when Endwalker gets here, just Final Fantasy fourteen for days. Like, that's it. Nothing else matters. All is Endwalker. Only Endwalker. Only Endwalker. The way you could see the stars and the first rays of the sun started to creep over the horizon was, like, just divine. Well, maybe it was those, like, literal spiritual morning walks that made Ganesha choose me as his vessel. <sighs> I have to be honest, you make Ganesha sound like Ruby, the mental image. Three-day boss fight? What the hell were the devs thinking? People gotta pee! People gotta eat! <clears throat> My apologies for seeming endless string of similar instructions, uh, but I would like you all to start by returning to Pichu as usual. Aye aye, Sherlock Holmes. Whatever you say, homie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a perfectly peaceful little human town. It makes me positively nauseous. So what's the plan here? Do you have any plan to take down that spoiled brat turned god, don't you? Come on. We're going to tear off him from his divine throne by bringing him down to our level, starting with this town. Now that these people have fought their way through a Kali Yuga, there should be even more of them on our side. Oh, goodness. I hate it when, like, Rama has to have the world's longest lines. His voice is the hardest one for me. Once we are convinced this town isn't a, 
he isn't a god worth worshipping. We'll move on to other towns until he's weakened enough that we can defeat him. A good boycott campaign, hmm? Alright, I can see sense in that. At least, theoretically. Even though we are in peaceful Kurta Yuga, something feels off. I feel it too. Does the sound seem weirdly quiet to you? Yep, nope, it's weird. Ain't nobody doing anything. There's no sound. Woo -woo. Hey, uh, guys, I'm kind of worried about Aisha. Remember she said her dad was injured? Maybe we should go check on her first? Uh, of course. I was thinking the same thing. I think her house was over in that direction. Uh, let's go and see her. There. Uh, there's her house. Oh, thank goodness. It's intact. Uh, my, why don't we peek inside through the window first, though, to, to see how they're doing? Um, it looks like they're celebrating something. <laughs> I am so glad that we were able to make it to the Kurta Yuga to celebrate our 4,000th day of life, Aisha. Your 4,000th day of life, Aisha. Uh, me too. A lot has happened over different Yugas, but more than I can even remember. I was worried about things that were going wild when we first took you in. But you've grown up to be a wonderful little girl. Uh, though, you know, it is strange. I know we've been... Here since way back, but this house still doesn't feel like our home. Maybe it's just a bit too big. I, I was thinking the same thing, my dear. Maybe it's time that we thought about moving. Maybe there's another house that we live in, not too far from here. But we don't need to think about now. Today is your special day and we are going to celebrate. Go ahead and eat anything you want, okay? Uh, okay. Oh, what is wrong, Isha? You do not look very excited. Auntie? Doesn't it feel like we're missing somebody important? Oh, yeah. Called it. Dad, uh, dad went bye-bye. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, for, uh, now look what you made me do. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Are, are you okay? <laughs> you dropped a dish off for a little question. You're such a ulu. Uh, there it is again. It feels like somebody else should have said that. It feels strange that nobody's saying it. Such a wulu. I think it's wulu. Yeah, it really feels like there ought to be somebody else here with us. What an odd little girl you are. Who who would that possibly be? You know, it's always been just the three of us. Uh, yeah, I know. But I just can't help. I feel like I made a promise with somebody. Someone who said they'd celebrate with me. And then patted my head telling me how much I'd grown. Huh? Am I crying? <laughs> well, that's a funny surprise. This is supposed to be a happy day. Uh, uh, Mash, pull yourself together. If you cry, I'm crying. I'm gonna need you to pull your shit. To get your get your poop in a group, Mash. Okay, get your shit together. Nah, hello, my next victim. Nice weather we are having today. <laughs> yeah, that's basically how it is. Anytime there's an adorable child, it's like, well, we know where the where it's gonna be. What is a uh, what is mass shield made out of? It's made out of magic Da Vinci crap. That's what it's made out of. It's made out of Da Vinci made it, and I don't know science, magic, the the tears of salt. Gotcha. Why are you crying? I just got here, bruv. Uh, well, Aisha just lost her dad, and she doesn't remember, but she kind of remembers. Yeah, and wasn't it a fragment of the round table? Yes! Da Vinci magic, fragment of the round table, and, uh, and the salt of, of our tears of the gotcha. Because that's how we summon people. <laughs> Making us love these rando child characters. Yes, it is very cruel. They know what they're doing. They're willing to tug on your heartstrings. Look, they just want you and MASH to suffer. Uh, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. But, Senpai, this is just, just cruel. Let's get out of here. Right now, I don't think I could even look Asia in the eyes and smile. Uh, 
she said his leg was injured. Is that why? I mean, a little thing like that, just being injured means that you, you're you not a part of this world anymore. You're useless. Yeah, when uh when Pepe says he be sad, you know he be sad. Oh, I love how that me trying to grab this, like, Ranma. <clears throat> that is just like what happened with Vihan. This is horrible. I don't even have words for how horrendously wrong that says all is. Oh, no. Does this mean? Oh, the, the whole town. The whole other town is gone. They're not here. Oh, oh, hello. Is everything all right? Would you like to come to my house and have a glass of grape juice? Forget about the juice. What happened to all the people in the town hall? What do you mean? You know damn well what I mean. I'm talking about the people who came here from Duval. There were dozens of people living here while they were trying to find new homes. I'm very sorry, but I truly have no idea who you are talking about. Nobody has ever lived in the town hall. Damn it! You poor thing. I do not know what you are talking about, but I can tell you have been through a lot. Well, if there is anything that I can do to help, please do not hesitate to call me. Good luck. They got, they got, they got booped away. They got, they got booped. Damn it. Damn it. Just refusing to obey is a sin now. You are a false god. For what crime is so great that you throw them away like they are worthless? <clears throat> it seems that we were too lax in our assumptions given how removed Arjuna is from this world. I assumed he would never bother to personally determine the so-called defectiveness of an individual person's actions, especially since we knew that Dival continued to exist across Yugas, even though they had begun to fight back. Hmm, that sounds right to me, if you were just talking about Arjuna himself. I'm sure he would consider changes in his little people's faith as trivial matters beneath his notice. Every stream you get closer to that Ada Ada, well, uh, get closer. Get closer. You know, Mun, Mun, I appreciate that you are wanting to get a Wombo combo for an ASMR stream, probably. Because that's going to murder a lot of people. A lot of people are just going to die from blood loss and bottom smashing. Just bottom key smashing everywhere. I, I hope I hope to only see Garble in the chat upon that day. <laughs> going to hold it and eliminate half the stream this is a tactical strike <laughs> bottoms magic i'm doing my best <laughs> i love i love l l i appreciate you l l i appreciate you never change <laughs> but he has a certain advisor at his ear one who loves nothing more than snitching and i can't see that slimy devious monk not taking the chance to rat all these people out <clears throat> yes, and as you mentioned him on the border as well, it sounds as though you and him are on extremely poor terms. <laughs> bottoms measuring sounds way too lewd. No, it's just what happens when bottoms receive praise and affection, or, you know, have a top do the growly thing and be like, You're mine. You know that. that that's what happens. You know, then they then they start just like smashing the keyboard, rolling it all over their like rolling their face on it, just brrrr. Ah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> that sounded strange. Yeah, nobody nobody expects adorable Pearl to to then pull off that. <laughs> This is what we like to call gap mowing. <laughs> so they rage quit. Um, yeah, but it's not out of rage, bud. It's not out of rage. It's out of, it's out of, it's out of that sound. Sora is still fun. Pearl, I think you killed L. Eh, she'll be fine. <laughs> Pearl 
why you're laughing now. You sound like a villain in FGL. <laughs> Plot twist. Yes, I am the villain. <laughs> I am the true villain of the not supers. <laughs> mm. Oh, yes. He's a wonderfully shitty monk. So, for who he is, well, you'll find that out when you meet him yourselves. <laughs> The otter chirps when the redeems are her extra attack. Yeah. Yeah, they are. It lulls you into a false sense of security. And that's when I get you. <laughs> so it's his fault these people disappeared. No. I think it it might be mine. It, it might be mine. Lakshmi. It might be because I helped them, because I lit a fire under them, because I drew the false god's attention to them. Maybe I am the reason they were eliminated. They might have been erased, as though they had never existed because they got caught in my cloud of bad luck. Lakshmi. No, that is not my name. I have been lying to you this whole time. Everything that has gone wrong is my fault. I know I should have stuck to fighting on my own. I'm only imagining yelling all this. Like, I imagine that it's it's kind of like a very emotional thing. So, like, it's, it's stern, but I don't feel like it's quite yelling, yelling. Just kind of, you know, the, the, the beating yourself up kind of like thing where you're like, I shouldn't have done this. I'm stupid. Why did I do this? I shouldn't have. Like, like that. That's the, that's the dead side voice. Yep. I mean, it's in the yelling position, but, you know, I don't feel like that's quite appropriate for the situation. Like, uh, what are you talking about? You're not making any sense. Because, like, sometimes they look like they're yelling and they really shouldn't be yelling. Because, like, why are you yelling in the middle of a fucking town? The god that resides in me is not Lakshmi. What? What was that? Me, the goddess of happiness and prosperity. <laughs> what a joke. I am the exact opposite. I bring adversity and tragedy wherever I go. I am the embodiment of everything that someone should avoid and despise. That's just me, uh, that's just, that's just me chittering. Hinduism does have a lot of deities. Uh, Lakshmi is technically a deity. Um, there's, there's a whole lot. Uh, she was saying that she was Lakshmi, uh, who was essentially, what is it? Um, a, Lakshmi is part of Saita, who is his wife, who, which is why he felt like very like loving towards her. Um, they, they are, uh, basically there's a lot of deities and then those deities also have vessels or like offshoots of themselves, which is what Rama is. He is an offshoot of another Indian deity who became a hero, um, and who married Saita, who is another offshoot of Lakshmi. <laughs> that, that has no right to be cute. Like Rama is sort of a god. Yeah. See, they, they are, they are vessels of gods. Essentially, they are they are offshoots of them. They are not in themselves proper gods. Look, man, Indian hin like Indian gods are very difficult. Think of them as kind of like um, how Asclepius, Asclepius, is the son of, you know, Apollo. 
think of think of vessels or as like being being part or like an offshoot of a god is essentially like think of them being like the child of a god but they don't necessarily have to have sex with a human woman to make it they can just decide you are now a vessel of me and give part of their divinity power yes the gods are able to have multiple vessels at one time <laughs> so they're like demigods but they do not require mating with a human to make so yes, there can be multiple of the same god. They can all be blessed with the same like god's power as an offshoot of that god. Yes, there can be. And that's that seems unbalanced. You are a god now, child. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Dit. I feel like that is exactly what happened with Ganesha. It's just like, hi, I am now occupying your body. And she's like, excuse me. I am a neat. This is a Wendy's. Why are you here? <laughs> it seems a little unbalanced. It is, but like it's a, it's a very different culture, so it makes sense that it makes sense to them. What's the auto water thing do? It means I take water. It means I took a drink. So thank you for the drink. I'll take another one. Cause sometimes you know, doing this, lots of lots of lots of talky talk make make throat very dry. Mm. <clears throat> anyway, back to uh back to back to the sad part of this. <laughs> she was just in the middle of 14 roulette. Look, I look, I absolutely think of her as like a 14 gamer. She's just like talking about like how how much she loves hard mechanics and like difficulty and shit. I'm just thinking about she's a fucking ultimate raider. That's what it is. She she was in the middle of doing Alexander Ultimate. She's like sitting there just like, you know, doing, doing DPS. I, I imagine she's a DPS main because, but she'd be a selfish DPS main. She wouldn't, she wouldn't be like a dance or anything. She's sitting there just like fucking be a samurai or some shit. Just like in the middle of her like perfect window, like going on. Just like, yeah, yeah, buddy. We got, we got triple, t we got, we got trick attack going. We got, we got all the good shit. Look, man, she's, she's just doing like. She's just doing samurai DPS because you only have to remember one fucking rotation the whole last time. And then just <laughs> godhood. She's like, wait, what the fuck? Nani? I did not. I did not ask to be a monk class. Excuse me. Hello, James. James, thank you so much for all your supportive vibes and love. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mwah. <laughs> She's just, she's just sitting here like in these clothes and she's just like looking at herself just be like when the fuck did I switch to monk? <laughs> the real name of the goddess within me is Ala Kashmi Alakshmi Lakshmi's older sister the, godder, the goddess of bad luck and misfortune Ah So instead of Lakshmi it's Alakshmi. Very difficult. All right. Unforgiving world has been erased. In that part, we are now down to 15 no battles. Time's good. That seems like a day one announcement. <laughs> yeah, she, she was like, I was Lakshmi. No, I wasn't. I was a Lakshmi. You guys just didn't hear me correctly <laughs> the first time. Mm. It's true. Those two sister gods are more alike than shrimp and prawns. A Lakshmi? That's the goddess of misfortune. Lakshmi is direct opposite. Oh, a la Kishini. Ah, it's really direct opposite. You're saying that's who they really are. She is still a source of power lacking in consciousness, as I told you before, but yes, that is who I really am. <clears throat> So that's why I was never able to quite sense my beloved Saitas Lakshmi inside of you. Uh, welcome, welcome aboard. Uh, Leviath Fay, Leviath Four to the SS Otterworldly Traveler. Please enjoy your vacation. Thank you so much for the follow. Because uh, the girl who is named uh, Lakshmi, the the girl, the physical body 
that it is currently residing in was named Lakshmi. Who is the tiny captain? Captain Nemo! Is Captain Nemo. Which I have to roll on. In honor of the demoted, now director Nemo. I want his hat, and I want to forever remember him. So I've got to roll on. <laughs> I see that seems strange. Uh, that, that, the, the, the... Actually, Lakshmi is not probably a, uh, an uncommon name. Uh, as one would want to uh, request divine favor, the best way would be to name a child after that goddess or god. Uh, Alakishmi used a vessel of a child with the name of her younger sister. Yes, that is that is what happened. Um, I know nothing about Captain Nemo, the captain from Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. Yeah, that is that is who Captain Nemo is. But also, I have a friend who was once known as Captain Nemo. So, I gotta, I gotta roll on him. <laughs> uh, well, welcome aboard, Cha Boof, Cha Boy Buffa, to the SS Otterworldly Traveler. Please enjoy your vacation. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. <clears throat> yeah. So that's why, that's why I want to roll on him. Uh, part of this is because she's only a source of power now and partly because they are sisters no wonder i never got more than a vague impression of the divinity inside of you i thought he was a clownfish <laughs> no that's a different nemo uh why didn't you like tell us this sooner uh, ela kishimi's request uh was simple she conveyed to me that she wanted to help her sister trapped within the false god Okay, so, like, what's the problem? Like, that's one of our goals, too. I, I don't understand. But who would ever want to join forces with the embodiment of bad luck and misfortune? I've been using you for my own ends this whole time. Now I'm just imagining FGO Nemo cosplaying Pixar Nemo. <laughs> you know what? I want director Nemo to cosplay as Captain Nemo to then also have a Nemo, like, clownfish. That's what I want. That is the great Nemoception. <laughs> Director Nemo is going to be a clownfish. <laughs> I mean, I hope not. As long as he doesn't, as long as he doesn't clown around with anybody. <laughs> Look, I'm the only clownfish he knows. I'm the closest thing to a <laughs> Nemo. Nemo's new outfit's a clownfish. <laughs> He does love orange. <laughs> oh God, this is this is terrible. I'm the closest thing he knows to a fish. I am at least fish adjacent. I live in the ocean and I don't have to come out if I don't wanna. I am an otter, but I'm the closest thing he knows to a fish. I uh, thought that you would refuse to help me if I was honest about my identity. And that would make it harder for me to achieve my goal of defeating the false god and rescuing Lakshmi. I am an otter. I am a sea otter. Nothing else. Nothing more, nothing less. Some later I am. I am just a foolish woman steeped in lies and deception. Now that those people were erased without a trace, and all your hopes are dashed too, and it is all my fault. Nope. I am an otter. I am an otter. I am I am only otter. I am sea otter. Nothing more, nothing less. Foo foo. I mean, I understand that you're really a la kishmi, but you are wrong about the rest. Uh, senpai and Pepe are right. You didn't erase. Aji, or the people of Duval. Arjuna did. You can't blame yourself for this. Indeed. Are you going to insist that every last bit of bad luck we've ever had was actually your fault? Because even for a goddess of misfortune, that would be a going a bridge too far. 
Lakshmi. Laksh. Laksh. The fuck? We are fighting for the fate of the entire world. Your luck can't possibly affect that. No matter how bad it may be. It is our skill and responsibility alone that will determine our outcome of our fight, just as it always has before. So, the only limits I'll allow from you are clumsiness, the way you constantly stub your tone and squirm in agony. If you thought we hadn't noticed, you were gravely mistaken. So, if you're really done playing guessing games where all the answers were obvious, it's about time we started planning our next course of action, no? Agreed. Truth be told, I had already formulated a hypothesis as to whom Lakshmi's true divinity might be. Lest we forget the power she demonstrated during our first battle with William Tell was clearly nothing than that of a goddess of fortune would possess. Oh yes, that reminds me, I do not sense value anywhere, so it seems Mr. Tell never did make it out of his yuga, did he? Though I can't say I'm surprised, given the resistance he put up at the end. I'm considering that a highly probable possibility as well. Given how bravely he fought last when we saw him, I'm not sure if we should. I should regret that we were unable to have him join us. Or be glad the least bit more of Arjuna's power is now gone. Okay. In light of all that's happened, we need to figure out a new plan, starting where our old one went wrong. It's obvious now that we are severely underestimating the extent of Arjuna's ability to erase things that he considers defective, or whatever, when he remakes the world. Hard as that might be to believe, we now know he can get rid of entire communities if he wants to. Maybe he came up with some way to simplify it, like assuming anyone who takes up arms against the Kali is defective. But either way, now that we know he's capable of mass removals like this... We should probably assume that there's more people that stand out, the more likely they are to be erased. Hmm, so what you're saying is, our plan to turn more people against him and drag him out of his godly throne isn't looking too good anymore. So what are you saying, we just give it up? Nah, man. My mama, Aun Etta, did not draw a bitch. Or raise a quitter. I'm not a quitter. That's right, Mash. We ain't we ain't no quitters. I I'm a quitter. I'm a quit I'm no quitter. That's why I don't go to AA meetings. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a bad joke. But uh honestly though, if 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 you do, if you do, AA is actually probably a really good idea. I, I don't I don't have a problem. I promise. <laughs> no, just send me the brig instead. No, absolutely not, Master. Damn Skippy. We I don't care if he's God. Fuck him. Fuck him. I ain't giving up and neither are all you. I couldn't agree more, Master. We may be back to square one again, but so what? As for you, Queen who has slightly worse luck than most people, I have no desire for you to wander about in a slack off and ashes being so terribly morose. Who's going to benefit from you doing such a thing? It's utterly pointless an endeavor. Mm. Now that we know our old plan won't work, we need, to help more than, we need your help more than ever in coming up with the next one. Will you help us? Will you continue to fight beside us, just as you have till now? I second everything Rama said. Look, you are not the first complicated goddess we have had on our team, and you will sure as shit not be the last. <laughs> you are truly an odd one, aren't you? All right. Now that we have reaffirmed our intent to continue onwards, I would like to begin discussing specifics. Does anyone here have any information that would give us a good place to start? I'll get right down to the point. I can think of one thing. Oh? What's that? I've had this man. There's something wrong with him. Y yes I do believe we saw that for ourselves. Rami, darling, could you be a bit more detailed? Hmm. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain. All I can say is that we ran into him during the last Yuga. 
It felt like there was something fundamentally different about him captured, compared to the other local Pala, of course. <laughs> oh, oh, at least one of you has an eye for detail. Deposing of a fattest man is something I totally endorse, especially since I have my own grievances with him. I would like nothing more for the, all of you to beat him within an inch of his life. But still, we don't know how to deal with his regenerative powers. Uh, fighting him was like fighting an immortal. <laughs> exactly. He's immortal. That's why he has no choice but to do what Arjuna says. Uh, what do you mean by that? Oopsie! Now I've gone and said too much. Oh, let me just go ahead and zip these lips right back up. Anyway, I do think it's worth a shot, if you like. I could even tell you where he is right now. Hold it! I appreciate the proposal, but I don't trust it. Uh, Kayo and Saka can only be trusted to lead us into a trap. What? Well, and here I made my proposal with every purest of intentions. I guess this means you'll still haven't forgiven me after all, Your Excellency. <laughs> oh, does this face look like that of a war criminal? Welcome, welcome aboard, uh, DJ Mixmaster to the SS Otterbolly Traveler. Please enjoy your vacation. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, why in the world would I forgive you when you haven't even shown this the slightest bit of repentance? Did that sorry do something to your brain? You don't. Never mind, I didn't say that. <clears throat> <laughs> hello, hello, Jeek. Hello, how are you doing today? Wolf Lord, I am glad that you enjoy my uh, Koyasaka voice. I, I'm glad that everybody enjoys my like Koyasaka and my um, uh, my Ganesha. Everybody seems to really like that. Just kidding. All right, then. I'll go ahead and give you the data. You'll just need to track this man down, of course. Just to be sure of the results. Why not conduct the search yourselves? Hmm, true. That would be safer, though it does mean that we'll need to walk around ourselves to pick up his signal. That's just the trade-off. We'll make sure it's to for security. <laughs> Even though it takes us a little longer, it's a lot better than walking into a trap completely defenseless. All right. Now that our next goal is decided, let's find out his batisman and take him out quickly. Hey, Sora, it's okay. You can say the word dumb. That's fine. That's that's not being horny on main. Like, trust me, we cannot be hornier than Kayasaka was actually in the game where I had to say the words that were coming out of her mouth. She was, in fact, horny on main. <laughs> she do be horny on main. <laughs> Don't worry. Once we find him, just let me handle everything. I think I know what's going on with him now, so the next time we meet, we'll see if I'm right. More Saint Quartz! More Quartz for the Merlin! Also, nothing wrong with being horny on main. Look, I even even Captain gets horny on main. Horny on the main sail. Hor horny on the maiden voyage. <laughs> especially especially when we talk about Merlin. <laughs> or Edmund. Or Aizawa. Or Alucard. <laughs> Do be how that be. Oh, we are, we are at, we are, I think this is going to be a Vatisman. We heard you talking about Merlin earlier. Can confirm. Absolutely. See, sometimes it just be that way. All right. I think this is a Vatisman. So we, uh, we might, in fact, want, uh, let's see if we can find somebody. Come on. Please be a Tomomo. Please be a Tomomo. Please be a Tomomo. I have. Update list. Please update friend list. I want a Tomomo, please. Can I please have Tomomo? Tomamo? Tomamo, no. Tomamo, the not mean one. Please. <gasps> Tomomo. Tomomo, the not mean one. All right. We got this shit. I feel like this is going to be a challenge one. So we're going to we're going to go with this. And, uh, and hope. And, uh, and hope. So let's, let's go with this. Yeah, I don't want to do, oh shit, gameplay? Yeah! 
I feel like we're we they were talking about we were gonna go fight as Vatisman, so I think it's time. Pearl in the same room as Dad's well, Alucard, Edmund, and Merlin. So you mean me being dead? Hello, Hydra Gaming. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Lovely to see you. How is it going? We have just gotten to uh, I think our our next boss. So uh, we're gonna Tika Masala him out. We are going to go play Hot Wheels. Uh, why has it been multiple days? I don't like that. Clock, don't go that fast. Clock, go back. Go back where it's not shit time. We have been playing Fate Grand Order. <sighs> there you are. Ugh, that's my line. But what's this? Well, what do you know? can't believe the quarry that got away from me came back of her own accord. I'm so happy. It's actually pissing me off. Hmm. Well, I do appreciate you reacting exactly how I thought you would. You must have known that the Chaldeans were hot on your tail. Yet you couldn't ignore my aura and you couldn't resist waiting around for me to show up. I'm so glad you're just as simple-minded as you look. Now, let's get our grudge match now, shall we? Oh, but do be warned, you'll be facing Pearl and her team this, um, this time around, and they're very tough cookies. You'll see they do this ungodly, annoying thing, where they get stronger and stronger each time they do battle. Huh. <laughs> Never could tell whose side you were really on, woman. Let me ask you this, about this man. Would you be willing to tell us your whole story? What was that? I am generous king, and I can tell what others are truly thinking. I promise I will neither laugh nor look down on you. What do you say? Ugh! Every one of you just makes me so friggin' furious. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Ooh, what are you doing there, Rami? I thought you said you could handle him. I thought I could, but it seems the problem is not as easily solved with words as I had hoped. It's an Indian that sounds yum. I love, look, I love Tika Masala. Shit's good. Shit slaps. <laughs> I'm also a big fan of Cootie in any form. Literally any form. Give it to me. If it's spicy, hell yeah. How does she have so many voices? Uh, I have, fuck. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just make funny words with my mouth sometimes. I can also I can also do a, a bit of another accent. Nah, we'll just have to pin him down and have him cool off more naturally. So like we're gonna have to fight him after all. What even was the freaking point? I I will help you, but uh, what I said before still holds true. Uh, please do not rely on me too much. Uh, there is no telling where my poor luck could result in a fatal error. But you can control it a little, right? Like you did when you got Tell's arrows to hit you. Uh, a little, yes, but there are some areas that are still out of my control. Uh, not to mention that the recoil from that time is probably still... Uh, yep. Oh, what about this man? You're such a really awkward boy, aren't you? Heh. <laughs> you mean like the opposite of how you strut around those fancy clothes of yours, ex-master? Well, I certainly seem less awkward than you. I keep my life nice and simple by doing whatever it takes to stay alive. Of course, that still leaves the question of what I want to do with my life once I keep it. It's not easy being human, you know. We always want more. <laughs> Guess you really must be a... a drought. You can say that sort of thing with a smile. Maybe I am kind of awkward, by comparison. All I've got going for me is my anger, so it's only natural that anger would become my entire life. Living my life makes me angry. My anger gives me a reason to live. Yeah. I know it doesn't make any sense. Just like I know that the moment my anger dies out, I won't be me anymore. So long as I'm still kicking, I've got no choice but to keep my fury burning. To keep burning my whole damn life. Alright. Sir, but what if I wanted to just take you out on a nice date? Maybe. Possibly. You seem, you seem, you seem very, um. You seem very upset. Upsetty spaghetti. Okay. 
He do got some nice abs, though. He do be looking pretty good. This is uh, me hoping that we will not get entirely the murdered. Hey, look! Kayasaka's fighting with us in spirit! All right. You know what I love to see? Love to see it. Love to see it. It's this. Arts cards effectiveness. Look at the look at the blue Dorito go. And if he decides to attack Tamamo again, we'll go with that. All I know is, is that blue card go burr. We, we, we here doing the blue team. All I know is, oh, 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 look at that sexy damage. Look at that. Oh, that is, that is disgusting was what that was. I was disgusting. Did you see how much damage that just bloody did? That's so much damage! Blue card go burr! We are we are doing it! We are doing it! There is no second strike. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and hold you with that do a bit of the uh, eightfold blessing please and then we will block the next attack hopefully with uh, with with Jean the the noble phantasm I don't know what it does but I am scared of it Yo, that did not broke the Yo, that did not broke the blue card. Not very blue right now. Deals more damage the lower that Ash life is. <laughs> All right, let's see. We're going to go with this one. And then add more, add more, add more blue. Add more blue cuz I want to do another one of those big ones. I am living the 360p, 330fps life, trying to pack up as much as I can without the Wi-Fi router when we move to the new place. Ah, uh, I see, Jacob. Well, I, I hope that your move goes smoothly once you have moved to a new place. Also, welcome, welcome aboard, uh, sub zero zero five one five eight nine to the SS Autoworldly Traveler. Please enjoy your vacation. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. I, uh, man, okay. Is this Noble Phantasm going to make fucking load? Oh, he takes off the defensive buffs. Question for Merlin Expert. All right, possible answer for Merlin Expert. Okay, I'm not going to lie. That NP looks pretty dope. That NP do be looking pretty dope. Uh, and as I like to, uh, to call that, get fucked. Okay, another defensive buff up. Restore cards. Avatisman is a walking contradiction. All I know is that he angy. He a angy, angy boy. Does Merlin have a last name? Um, that depends on which of the, the Merlin, um, like, uh, which of the Merlin mythos it is. Um... But I do believe that it is widely believed that he is the Welsh Merlin Welt. W-H-E-L-L-T. Is I believe what they uh, they think he is. Oh, Jesus. Do not. Oh, 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 that. That hurt. He now does not give two shits about a defensive buff. So that's, that's, that's pretty. And by pretty, I mean bad. As I would very much like Tamamo to live. That was a chunk. Yeah, he doesn't give a shit about defensive buffs anymore. 
He's got the, he's got his own buff of fuck that. So hopefully, come on, come on, don't uh, don't die. I, to mama, I need you. The buff of piss off. All right, no, no, continue to attack. Yeah, to attack, attack them. Don't attack to mama. Ah, yeah, there you go. There we go. That's that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Ooh. See, that arts buff is still up. So let's see if that... Uh, that did not get it all the way, sadly. So we will bound him there for one more turn. Still got this. So we will go with one, two, three. He actually doesn't ignore defensive buffs and normal attacks. It's just a lot of damage. Yeah, but he's got, uh, he's got that. He's got the, uh, thing where it looks like the buff says... Ignore defense up and deal damage. So, it's not normally that he's able to do that. But he is able to do that this time. Because fuck you, that's why. Okay. So we're gonna go with this one. We are probably gonna lose to Mamo. Unfortunately. For this. Because I kinda wanna hold out... Jean's Jean's uh, invulnerability for the next one, so we're probably gonna lose to Mamo, sadly. Uh, unless he just attacks only only Lee or uh, Jean. What's going on here? Blue card does damage. Just don't get hit. Easy. Yeah, except this game has like this thing about that it automatically wants to target casters because fuck Merlin. That's why. Like Merlin, literally. <gasps> we got to keep him. We got to keep the girl! Aw, fuck yeah! You know what? Yo! Yo! Fuck yeah! Sometimes R and Jesus do be helping! Sometimes R and Jesus do be helping! <laughs> yeah, okay, so we're gonna have Jean's Eternel. So we're gonna have invincibility. Not gonna give a shit about the, the noble phantasm. We got our we got ourselves Tamamo doing some extra HP healing plus also uh, NP gauge up. Fuck yes, and hopefully we will be able to refill what is one one Lee doing the slapping with the spear. Oh, he can still kill Tamamo. Oh yeah, no he can, but uh, I don't think he has unless he's got to ignore invulnerability right now. I think we're good for at least one more damn turn because that's at least three K healing next turn with the 2k from tamamo and at least another 1k from jean so that's we we will kind of be able to oh jesus christ that hurt he takes her buff off after damage i see well <gasps> but you see you see sometimes sometimes it'll work do that crit up please 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 make, please make go burr. I am putting all of my eggs in this basket. Sir, do a slapping in. I trust in the spear. I will be the spear that pierces the heavens. Oh, oh, 118, 118 McFucking shit. All right. You know what? Since you have bullied Tamamo this entire ass time, I am gonna let her kill you. Because fuck you, that's why. I take offense to you living with 118. <laughs> we did it! We beat his ass! Hello, Strippy Olive. Hello, hello, hello. We are we are doing the... Oh, now it's going to be the bigger boss fight. So, it's the same thing we did, but this time harder. Because fuck you, that's why. So, well... Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. A little bit of an overkill with that round. <laughs> Took offense to our juvenile living with one HP. You know what? I would be pissed. I would be angry. 
I'd be like, no, fuck you. I deserved that. I deserved it. How are you? I'm doing well, Strippy Olive. We are we are doing boss fight. We are finally getting to another boss fight. Um, hopefully next time that we do uh, a Fate Grand Order stream uh, that's on a Wednesday, we will be able to uh, finish out the Lost Belt. Uh, this Lost Belt anyway. Mm -hmm. And then he wiped your party sad. Wait, the last fight? Nope, apparently, apparently we have to fight him one more time because he's, he's not done yet. Ambrosius, I see, I see. I've, I've, I've. I will have to look that up. I will have to look that one up. So thank you, Sora. I will look that one up. He was calm last fight. Now he angry. Now he actually angry. We did it, but. Oh, now he's supercharged, angry. Damn it! If I knew he was just gonna heal himself again, is he seriously immortal or something? Is that all you've got? I can keep this up. Um, is it just me there, or is someone else mixed in there? It's not the power of regeneration. It seems as though there's something deeper eating away at him. I knew it. It's just as I thought about this man. You're cursed, aren't you? Yo, what up? Did you just say cursed? That's right. Of course, there are many different kinds of curses, but for this, I believe I know what is at work. Even as we speak, the curse is tormenting Avatis man. Or rather, his servant spirit origin, relentlessly. This curse may be so powerful that not even a great warrior like him can remove it. I expect it's directly rooted in his destiny. A curse so deeply tied to his heroics that it's inevitable that he would fall prey to it. Oh man, I knew what that is. It's Kirishna's curse, isn't it? Um. Yo, Professor! What the hell are you talking about? <clears throat> I'm sorry to as to say burst your bubble, but you won't find any professors here. Both Da Vinci and I would be happy to share what we know about India from books, but this case, I believe, the captain would be the most knowledgeable. It's something that happened towards the end of the Great War depicted in the Mahabharata. Avatis man. Uh, a servant's spirit origin is essentially their their soul core or like the part of their being. Think think of it as like a spirit orb that um that defines what they are summoned as, as well as like their their like what appearance they take and stuff. It, it is essentially a spiritual soul capsule. And you can affect it different ways which is why that there is so it's in their legend so their dna yes essentially it, it's in their legend or you can alter it by by kind of having like the the jean alter it is an alter to her spiritual core so much that it uh that it made a different one that, that it made her uh an avenger instead of a ruler that's that's how come you get different uh different kinds of um of the same servant is that it's a technically a different spiritual origin uh changed in some way so it's their incarnation origination yes essentially but you can alter it and they they even made jokes about altering the uh spirit the spirit core for frivolous things like one of them wanting a bathing suit are they able to exist in the same universe yes because you are able to uh, summon multiple servants. I can have Jean Alter and I can also have Jean in the same uh, Chaldea because technically they both are summoned separately. Uh, because of the, the spirit origin has differed so, uh, so much in a way that it has made a new type of servant. So it's a multiverse that collides literally everywhere. Yes! It is, it is essentially, think of you can have four different coups from different points of coups life who are also not all Lancers. Um, one of them was done by making a wish. I'm not slow. You're just fast. <laughs> Sometimes. Mm. Avatis man was overcome with anger at his father's murder, and in a cowardly act of retribution, he snuck into an enemy camp and killed them all in their sleep. Uh, welcome, welcome aboard. 
Dash and the man. Uh, to the SS Otterworldly Traveler, please. Enjoy your vacation. Thank you so much for the follow. They all four died, but only Ku Alter came back because he's got guts. <laughs> they all died, but he came back. He he's alright. He got better. Afterwards, he fired an arrow at the stomach of the pregnant mother of what would have been the last child of the Kuru. But Kirishina protected the baby and placed a dreadful curse upon Avata's man's head in re retaliation. Doesn't normal Ku also have guts? I don't know. I never play with normal Ku. I'm gonna be honest with you here. I, like, never play with him. <laughs> He's a good boy. An absolute good doggo. But I, I usually use a different servant. Because most of the most of the time, um, most of the time, if I'm using double Scotty, it's for farming purposes, and if I am using a uh, singular Lancer, it's usually Lee. Some characters you don't classify in the actual story as existing. Uh, technically, they don't exist other than events, because like there is there's like canon ones that we like have in in Caldea because we had summoned them before they like came back with us through some way or another but usually it's um like we canon have Edmond Dantes but it's it's imaginary scramble yeah because like some of them are depicted in the manga because there is a manga adaptation of Fate Grand Order uh some of them are depicted in the game itself as like yes you had elizabeth bathroy at some point we have scotty we have edmund dantes because he lives in our fucking shadow and pulls out of nowhere um we we don't have merlin but merlin just shows up all the time fucking anyway he just does what he wants so like he pops in and out all the time through events and like other story shenanigans he's just like yo what up i'm here uh, technically, I'm not even a servant. I just pretend to be a servant sometimes, is his excuse. Man, man's the grand caster of, of magic. Merlin is everywhere and yet nowhere. Yes, they do both exist and sometimes appear in the story. There are events. <laughs> Edmund does really homie out to us. Yeah, no, he just comes out of nowhere and is just like, here, I'll take care of it. And I'm just like... You know what? Thank you, Shadow Husband. I appreciate you. <laughs> yes, they can exist in the same one. Because there is an event that is literally being finished up. That is the summer event where Jean Alter, Berserker, and Jean, regular, uh, regular Jean, are existing in the same timeline. And they interact with each other. Event. Not event. Event. Like, even. Like, there's a thing going on. Summer is not canonical. I refuse to believe it. <laughs> uh, but it's... It, even if it isn't canon, it, it does... We, we have seen them interacting with each other before. Like, different versions of the same. We have seen them... We have seen them interacting with each other. But Imaginary Scramble made Summer 2 canon, and I hate it. <laughs> Wait, he, he vented? Sus. Oh my god, because he's so weird. Alright, we are, we are getting back to this. Uh, <clears throat> one interpretation says that the curse would last for 3,000 years, during which he would be forced to endure all manner of pain and suffering. I, I, uh, man, I'm looking so forward to Carnival Phantasm. I'm sorry. Look, I just, I just, I love it so much. I was like, look, it's your boy. It's Merlin. It's Edmund. They're in the same place. Ah! <laughs> it's literally just me being excited. The, the anime. <laughs> also, welcome, welcome aboard, uh, Vigota, Vigota, the Goto Alter Berserker to the SS Otterworldly Traveler. Please enjoy your vacation. Thank you. Thank you so much for the follow. It is, it is, I believe it's going to be, uh, Carnival Phantasm is going to be released as an anime. Yeah. Yeah. It's releasing as an anime. And I'm so excited because it has a sillier, uh, aesthetic. And I'm so excited. 
shadows of them in the Lost Belt, particularly we have a briefcase, let's say, summon weaker limitations of the service from the trash battles. <laughs> yeah, they, they, we, 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 but we see them interact with each other. Like, we see them interact. So, they, they know of each other and even have relationships with the alter versions of themselves. Uh, Jean likes to explain that Jalter is essentially, in her mind, her sister. Her, like, twin sister, but she's edgy and she, like, wants to help her. But the other one's just like, no, fuck you. Go die in a fire. Eh. Blech. I would definitely have noticed if he had been cursed like that when I first summoned him. Just saying. So Arjuna may have put that curse on him after he stole my master contract from me. They made real relationship progress in Luke. Yeah. Summer summer four, they made some uh some good not summer four. Summer three, they made some good progress in their relationship, but beforehand. <laughs> There's already three episodes of Grand Carnival Flat Toes and Frozen Round. I love them so much. Uh, um, yeah, they don't really usually bring it up in the main story, uh, because technically in the Lost Belt section, we sent away all of the servants that we had summoned previously. So in, in the, in, in the Lost Belt story, we only have the ones that are in the Lost Belt and the ones that we summon inside the Lost Belt. Technically the ones that I have, like Ku and them, they, they, they aren't technically supposed to be here. Uh, that's that's just gotcha mechanics being like, no, we're not going to let you not use your servants that you, you know, spent good, hard earned money on. Uh, but uh, technically, we're only supposed to have, you know, Rama uh, and uh, Ganesh and when we had Neza and like any any they, they, they always go like, ah, yes. And whatever servant we have with along the oh my gosh hi share hi space wife welcome welcome raiders we are we are doing we are doing the fate grand order we are doing the grind we are here for the uh we are here for a boss fight part two electric boogaloo star raid star raid hello share if you are not following my star wife my beautiful beautiful star wife you should because if you like horror movies and dbd and you know things that are scary or if you like the witcher and stuff boom check out share she's great she is fantastic and i love her so if you like dead by daylight she plays that game if you like the witcher she plays that game if you like fall guys she plays that game She also plays Stardew Valley, so she also do be playing sometimes the compi. Mm-hmm. It would be well within his power since he also possesses uh, Krishna's divinity. Uh, ah, now it all adds up. Hello, hello, Jamie Lynn. Hello, hello. So canonically, if you bring summon characters into Lost Belt, they do not exist. For the for the for the story purpose, they do not exist. But uh, it as the story likes to pretend you defeated it with like the the ones that they have as the free supports that you can just use or try out. That's essentially how the story works. It uh, is that you know you used all of the power of your you know all of the people who were there that we gave you as supports. To, to do it that's how the story rolls with it because at the end of um babylonia when you return back to uh chaldea that you're supposed to send all the servants away like at at the end once you're done with like all the pseudo singularities and stuff you were supposed to send all the servants back that you had made uh made uh contracts with like genshin forcing traveler constantly yes So, for gameplay-wise, they exist for me to fight, but story-wise, they do not. They do not. It, it counts as we did it with Rama, Ganesh, and, uh, you know, Pepperoncino. We did it with all the people that you're seeing in the Lost Belt in the story. It is, it's them forcing Traveler on you constantly. It's very much the similar thing. Uh, welcome, welcome, Vicky, Vikid, 
V Kid designed the SS Otterworldly Traveler. Please enjoy your vacation. Thank you so much for the follow. I do appreciate it. Is all the Fate series anime connecting? Because I have a lot of catching up. Um, there is a beginning, and there is the Camelot movie, and I believe there is the Babylonia anime and movie. I don't know if all of the singularities were made into movies, uh, n nor am I aware of anything more than uh, at first pseudo singularities. I know I think Shinjuku was made into an animated movie. I swear, everybody always trips over my name. I need to shorten it. Uh, I, I trip over names because I'm dyslexic, so it would have fucked me over anyway. It's not the length, it's just reading is hard. So don't worry about that, V-Kid. You're good. <laughs> no, it's not your bad. It's fine. I, I just, it's something I have to deal with every day. And reading is hard for me. And that's why I'm trying my best to, like, read and, and say words uh, in fun. It's definitely not the length. No, it's not. What? As far as I'm concerned, John and John Alter are twin sisters. I mean, it, that's that's essentially how they they explain it. So I mean, I I think of them as they are technically the same entity, but different parts of the same entity. I just think of them as different servants, but technically they are the same person. Yeah, the rest is yet to be adapted. The internet has ruined me. <laughs> uh. Camelot, Babylonia, Future Solomon are anime slash movies. Yes, those those are the ones I am aware of. And I think there was supposedly in the works a Shinjuku movie that they were talking about, like releasing uh, for, you know, Edmund, who is not Edmund, which makes me the big sad. But, you know, Grand Carnival, Grand Carnival's coming out. So me, me having, me having, me being like, look, Edmund, look at him. Love him. Good boy. Goodbye, Grey Raid. I hope you enjoy the rest of your night, okay? Mwah. Time to get back to this boss. We're going to do the boss. We're going to finish this boss. A Fatsis man, your immortality comes from being born with Yama and Shiva's power, and the curse that you're dealing with is too strong for you to remove on your own. So you're trapped in a prison of endless suffering and death is offers no escape. Then, like, does that mean that you have to do what Arjuna says or he, like, won't undo the curse? That is pretty rough. Camelot movie, isn't that just Monty Python? Uh, no, it is, it is, uh, it is Welcome to, um, Bedivere Cries the Movie. Same. I want, I want Edmund to get the respect he fucking deserves. He is such a good shadow husband. He's so good to us. He homies all the time. He just like comes out of nowhere and is just like, yeah, no, I'm gonna take care of this shit. Bedivere, Bedivere is one of the knights of the round table. And mostly the movie revolves around like him and his traveling with you to kind of undo the mistake of which is the Camelot singularity. You would have to start from Fate's Day Night. My my best my best thing would be for you start to from Fate Zero, to get the basis of understanding what uh what a Holy Grail War is, what it's supposed to look like, and stuff, and then go from Fate Zero to Fate Stay Night, and then after that you can do the uh you can do Fate Grand Order the movie, the first one, and it kind of sets up the beginning of the game. And then you can watch the Singularity movies. Mm -hmm. How often does Edmund show up? A lot. Honestly, a lot. Like, he shows up pretty much, like, I won't say every Lost Belt or every Singularity, but he shows up a lot. Like, four or five times when he really shouldn't have been there. Like, he really had nothing to do here, but he was just like, yo, what up? I'm trying to think. Uh, fake, fake him in Shinjuku. Uh, and there was, of course, real... Real him, and I'm trying to think of it's the it's the one with uh, Muramasa. I'm trying to think of what that uh, that pseudo singularity was called. Give me give me a hot minute to remember. Confusion isn't uncommon in the fate community. You just kind of get used to it. Shimosa, thank you, thank you. That one he he shows up in that one. He just kind of like homies at the end. Like he just shows up at the end, and we're just like. 
bro, what you doing here? And he's like, I have no idea what you're talking about, wink wonk. Yeah, he lives out and he lives in your shadow and comes out when you think you need him. Yep, absolutely. He homies. He's good, bro. Love him. Gotta respect that man. Fuck everybody else. I respect you. Shut up. At the very least, I can imagine that curse going away once Arjuna finally has his so-called perfect world. Though, either way, I guess that doesn't leave much choice for you but to cooperate with him. Shut up. I'm so goddamn pissed I can't stand it. I'm mad at myself for being a slave to my anger for forgetting myself cursed. I'm mad at how goddamn weak I am. I'm mad I'm so weak I have to obey Arjuna, my mortal goddamn enemy, just to escape this endless pain. All I can do is keep getting angrier and angrier. Oh, sir? Sir, did you just get hotter? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna meet. I made you take a drinky. Excuse me. He'd home it out in the Shiki events, Prison Tower, Solomon, Shimosha, Kaina and Shinjuku, and Lost Belt 2. Yep. Yeah, he shows up a lot more than you think he does. <laughs> does any Edmund have any other connections to servants? Um, kind of Nightingale, but kind of not. <laughs> that's that's the only that's the only one I can think. Is uh he he sees Nightingale as uh like mentally as um not Hayate, not 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 Hayate, because technically, uh, I'm trying to think of what her name is from from the beginning when he the, the woman he was engaged to at the beginning of his book before he went to to jail for ten years. Mercedes, yes, thank you, Mercedes. He sees her as Mercedes, um, who who was the love of his life before being sent to the French prison for ten years. Um. But she is not Mercedes. But uh, she is very similar to, uh, similar to Mercedes, and her treatment of Edmund is very similar. Uh, which is why he gets it kind of confused. But considering that he is a storybook character, a lot of the storybook characters are only connected through other storybook characters, uh, or like inter interacting with them, e either them or their authors, essentially. Um, so, basically, that is the only one that I can think of. However, the fun fact, fun fact is that, uh, the, the woman that Edmund actually marries in the book, Count of Monte Cristo, uh, Hay, Hay, Hayate, or Hayate, or Hite, I don't remember how you pronounce her name, because I've never actually heard it spoken. Um, she, how they, how, uh, Fate Grand Order artist drew her is that she actually looks almost exactly like female main character uh protagonist the one with the red hair and everything but just really long and they released this art book that shows a uh, ruler edmund dantes and uh that it's him holding her hands like like him right next to her who he's in love with so it just it makes me so happy that every time uh you know we have we have female main character edmund's just like yeah no i love them they're an idiot, but they're my idiot. <laughs> so I'm just like, yeah, boy. <laughs> Foreshadowing ruler Dante's event. Look, all I want is ruler Dante's because I'm going to let you know. Oh, man. That's everything I want. That's everything I want and need in my life. He's so pretty. There's a, there's a, there's a voice acting CD, drama CD of ruler Edmund Dante's. And oh, boy. Oh boy, oh howdy. He do be looking fine. Uh, welcome, welcome. Hello, Carlo. We are actually about to start doing this boss vise. Who is Ruler Dante's? He is a conceptual uh, thing. They didn't actually, they don't have Ruler Dante's, but it would be what Edmund Dante's would look like if he was summonable as a ruler class instead of an Avenger class. And uh, it, it do be looking good. It do be looking good. It, it's very pretty. Very pretty man. But anyway, back to this before I get distracted by Edmund Dantes again. As per usual. Uh, uh, that this man is getting madder, madder than I've ever seen him before. Be, please be careful, master. 
All right, time for the actual boss fight now. Because <laughs> we're four hours in and now we're getting to the boss fight. We ain't stopping till we, we beat the pain train. Flaming, flaming hot sexy man. We're taking him out. Heyday is pronounced A-day. A-day, thank you. Thank you. Gracias. You're good. You're good. You're good, Egg. I appreciate you. You know what? Since you've been so helpful today, Mwah! smoochy for you. You get it. You get a cheek smooch. You have been very helpful today with pronunciation and looking up stuff, and I fucking appreciate it. I really do. Why is it the brig for me? Oh, because I was horny for Dante's. You know what? That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait, what did I do? I didn't do anything. Was horny for Merlin. Was horny for Dante's. Was horny for Dazawa. Yep. My list of transgressions is only getting longer. <laughs> look, look, just, uh, <laughs> I was about to ask why Brig, but, uh, yeah, that explains. Yep. Yep. I do. Look, uh, just, just be glad that you guys weren't hearing me just kind of like being like, I want to roll for Summer Camilla. I want to roll for Summer Camilla. She's so hot. She's so hot. And honestly, the best version of Camilla because she's like the least crazy one. The other one's Assassin Camilla and she's very, very crazy. Like she is, she's just crazy. And she's also like, oh God, cringe. She just looks at Elizabeth Bathroy, which is essentially what happens to Camilla before she becomes like a vampire. She's just like, oh man, I'm so fucking cringe. So fucking cringe. Camilla of Supremacy, I see. Look, she is... Summer Camilla's hot. Summer Camilla's hot, and she is, like, not super cringy about herself. That is, like, when you see Camilla as, like, the, the most confident in herself is Summer Camilla. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Fucking love her. Look, I, I don't know if it's noticed, but uh, goth aesthetic is definitely something I'm into. But is she hot? She is very hot. She's hot. Hot damn. Make a dragon want to retire, man. Too hot. Hot damn. Oh, God. Goth bathing suit. Oh, uh, she's got like a fucking convertible. Ryder, Ryder Camilla. Ryder Camilla make me act up. Thank you. Bottom text. As hot as this hot boy on my screen? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to start off with that and hope very much that we do not the die. Bruh, brig, brig for me. Ryder, I think Pro would very much like to. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. I can understand why Summer Carmilla now... Yes, you can. He went from stage one to stage three. Put it, put it in the work I see, sir. See? That, that, that. This is called, I would like to uh, have you not do the thing. Oh, bonus effect. I don't like that. Oh, no. Oh, that that hurt. Okay, good. You know what? You know what? I'm fucking glad you're cursed. Fuck you. All right. Gonna increase star gather rate. Increase that. All right. <laughs> I don't, but Summer Nero. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here for her because I'm going to want that. We are going to try and extend this because I very much, I don't want Tamamo to die. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that blue card, Gober. Oh, Oh, uh, blue card. Blue card, Winterbur. 
did a first break. All right, what? Attack down. Eh, screw you. Uh, can you? Oh, please don't. Please don't kill Tamamo. I need that. Oh, goodness. Bakin. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome, Raiders. Hi. My name is uh, Pearl the Otter, and it's lovely to have you guys here. Ah. Big fishy stole Leon's egg briefcase. F is for the egg. Oh, no. All the good eggs in there. You know what? Here. Let me, let me do a shout out for Bakin. Bakin. And a shout out for my, uh, my big sister. And uh, for Nemo! Hi, Nemo! You know, you might not be a captain anymore, but this game still got Captain Nemo in it. So there's that. We got three shout-outs to do really quick. Bakin, we got here my sister Vivi, who I love, does the ASMR. Very, very great. Uh, Shout-out for my director, Nemo. Yeah, he got demoted, but you know what? It's okay. He's still he's still a captain in my fucking heart, and that's all that matters to me. That's all that matters to me. All right. Sir, can I have your hat? If you're not going to use it, can I have it? It's very important to me. <laughs> Though we did we did talk about a joke. Uh Nemo, there is a Captain Nemo in here, so yeah, I'm rolling for him when he when he when he is <laughs> when he is available. I'm rolling it for him so I can at least have some Captain Nemo in my life. I <laughs> uh, consider it. Pearl's gonna pull Nemo in the game. Damn, Skippy, I am. All right, let's see. We we want to not die. Hopefully. I am trying very hard. This is a boss fight. And I'm scared because he do big damage. He do big damage. And I only have I only have one like little support unit. And I'm like, please don't kill me. Make 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 blue card go burr. Don't pick Tomomo. Don't pick Tomomo. Don't pick Tomomo. Please don't pick Tomomo. Please. Please pick, uh, please pick Lee. I think you mean he has your heart captive. Oh my god. I mean, you're not wrong. But thanks. You know what? Thanks. I hate it. <laughs> I actually don't hate it. I love it. Thank you, guys. Excuse me. And you know what he did? He fucking picks to Momo. I requested you not, sir. I very specifically requested you to not. He do the big damage. He do big damage and it hurt. It hurt he did. Oh, really? Only? Oh, psh. I hate that. I hate it when it's like, oh, here it is, but only like 97%. Now, now it's up to 100%, which means I can do it next turn. But fine. Fuck you. Please don't pick Tomomo. Please don't pick Tomomo. Please don't pick Tomomo. Thank you. Thank fucking God. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? I'm willing. I am willing to accept that. It's certainly a for interesting few minutes. It is me just being like, please don't. Please don't murder Tomomo. Please don't murder Tomomo. Please don't murder me. I need this for reasons. Okay, you know what? Increase critical strength. We're gonna do that. We're gonna increase critical strength. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Alright, you know what? Sora, you have my energy to try and get what you are going for. For Vegeta, for you. Alright, NP gain up. Good, good, good. Because I'm gonna need that in a few turns. I'm gonna need it to take invincibility. Oh, that's nice. Blue card, Gober. 102 damage. Oh, it's so good. We are down to the break. Yes, we are going. We are living. We are doing. It's not, it's not his fault. He just looks like Vinci. You know what he do? He do be looking like that. Oh my god, 200 health. 200 health.
You know what? All right. This is this is the sound of please, please stop hurting me. Please stop hurting me. Thank you. Whew. Okay. 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 This is okay. Uh. Please. Please don't pick Tamamo. Please don't pick Tamamo. Please don't pick Tamamo. Please hit John. Or Lee. I'll take Lee. Yeah. Hit Lee. Hit him harder. Aw, oh, man. You had to kill Tamomo. You just wanted to be a bitch. Rude. You see this rudeness? This fucking rudeness that's going on? Rude. Rude good. Okay, so we're gonna go boop, boop, boop. So that one, at least I won't die horribly. Maybe. But now blue card doesn't do as much damage. It's sad. I need my support to Momo. I needed my emotional support, Fox. All right, one of them, one of them's gonna have a bad time. Defense buff off. All right, you gonna, you gonna attack again? Yep. See, now you're attacking it. Yeah, yeah. All I wanted was totally, uh, you know, Mash's Buster crit. <clears throat> Definitely nothing else. All right, let's see if we can do this though. I have. I have thought process here. Thought process is going, is turning in my heads. Uh, Mold Camelot, big one, and then another, another art. <laughs> Excuse me, I would like my emotional support to Mamo, please. Busta does make me feel good, but I need Merlin to make Busta feel amazing. Where I bust a cap in his ass. <laughs> if I had my Merlin already, we, we would be playing, we would be playing with a different Lancer, but I don't. So this is what I got. Ooh, man, 69 damage still, still not bad. I'm, um, thank you. You're beautiful. And also, I couldn't change if I want to. I'm too stubborn for that. Goodbye, Mash. You've done your duty. Thank you, Mash. Goodbye, Mash. All right. You know what? We're going. Arts, Buster, Arts. Just slap him. Slap him. <laughs> Mash got mashed. Hey, look. The game smashed Mash. They kept trying to tell me to do it, but I was unnecessary. They could do it for me. You know what? Ku just got here, so Ku's gonna win. There, you're dead now. How dare you hurt Tamomo? How dare you hurt Tamomo? No, my. Rude. Aw, oh, yo. Blue card go burr. Burr, burr outfit go better. <laughs> yeah, by a quick crit. I'm mad. But you know what? We beat his Vatus man. We beat him up. I don't know. I don't know whose voice this is currently who's speaking. So I'm just going to speak in my normal voice. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know anything about this cryptor stuff. But wherever they are. Oh, this is Vatus man. Okay. Okay. Actually, I've got this one. All right. Different voice. <clears throat> I don't know anything about this cryptor stuff. But wherever they are, that one was still my master. Once he had ordered me to leave Arjuna alone, I was able to hold back my urge to kill him. But once my master was no longer my master, once Arjuna slapped that curse on me like he was pulling a collar on a stray dog, and then told me he was my new master, there was no way in hell I was going to take that. I tried to kill him immediately after he cursed me. I tried to kill him in the span of a single breath. 
in the blink of a goddamn eye. But... It did nothing. His incredible divine power stopped me, killed me, and brought me back to life. The curse ate away at my body, and I attacked him again. Over and over. I was stopped, killed, revived, and cursed. Stopped, killed, revived, and cursed. Every time he stopped me, I got angrier. Every time he killed me, I saw red. Every time he revived me, my fury grew. Every time he cursed me, I became still further enraged. Rage. Thank you. Thank you, San, for the uh, Atawata. I will take a drink. Thank you. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Man, I hate it when they do this big one on the log. Because then I gotta do this. Was I just buying time? No way. I wasn't nearly calm enough to think about drawing Arjuna's attention long enough to let my old master escape. Though, I guess it ended up working out that way. It was all just desperate fury. All simply in vain. Until my spirit finally broke. Contorting bowels, rage, hell, every agony in the world, tearing myself apart, dissemination of the ego. A single instant, drool of flickering consciousness. Purple, red, green, black, lost vocal cord, spirit origin, violation, existing, then not, then existing again, poisonous thoughts, defeat, pain, chills, hives, agony. Fire. All of it, one on top of the another, and a terrible curse. How can I make this damn curse go away? What do I have to do to be free of it? If helping the damn god gets the world he wants, the only way for me to escape this damn curse. This is law for a more merciful than death is the only way to go. Then I will be rage. The moment I stop being angry is the moment I, the moment I stop being me. So, I decided I was going to stay angry all the damn time. Once I knew I couldn't kill that god beyond gods like this, no matter how angry I got, I instead chose to burn my own damn weakness with the fire of my rage at the very end. It's humiliating for me, along with this idiotic, immature, and inferior. But even so, thanks to that, I knew I'd be able to stay angry until my last breath. I might have lost a bond with my true master, but I've been forced to submit to my most hated enemy. But at least, in this, I still had my pride. This way, I would at least be able to remain myself right up until this defective, evil world disappeared. Then I'll be able to hit that smug, all-knowing, all-powerful god with one last shot. I'll show him that even with his perfect little plan to recreate it as he sees fit, and then only what he deems essential, he still couldn't stop me from being me. Hello, hello! He is a very angry boy. He is very angry. But you know what? It's kind of fair. Think about, you know, your most hated enemy is now, like, the boss of you, and you can't even use death as an escape. You just keep being reborn. It sucks. I feel really bad for him. I can understand why he was so angry that it was just like, you know what, fine, then I'll just be rage. I will just be anger, and I will just continue to burn brightly to show you as a symbol of my defiance. Fuck you. Uh, hello, hello, Salte. How are you doing today? And Saiyan, don't worry about it. Thank you so much just for being here. We all appreciate and love you, so. Mwah. There you go. You are friend. The only German I know is no and Sturben. Sturben? Is it Sturben or Sturben? I can never remember what the accent over the E kind of uh, says. Truly the ultimate middle finger. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, fuck you. I'm still me. Even after everything that's going on, I'm still me. You can't control that part of me. That way, when everything's about to end, I'll get to laugh in his stupid face. How I don't mix up the voices? I do mix up the voices. I really do sometimes. It's uh, it's hard. Or like, I think it's one character talking, and then it turns out it's another one. I'm like, fuck, man. That was Pepperoncino the entire damn time. You 
really an odd bird, aren't you? You actually chose to keep losing to Arjuna and his curse just so you could continue to be yourself. Ah, thank you, Fishy Pop. Thank you. My mama drew it, Aon Etta. She is, she is very talented. I am very, I am, I am just as I am. An adorable sea otter water sausage. <laughs> Silly water sausage. Exactly. And thanks to that, he's done for, since there's no possible way to save him. Isn't uh, Koyasaka a branch of Tamamo? Yes, technically she is. Uh, because she was considered a spiritual beast, Tamamo was considered a spiritual beast, she split her nine tails. So each one of the tails became its own entity, and, Kaya and Koyasaka is one of them. You are correct. That is how that worked. Yes, I'm sure there isn't. <clears throat> this goddamn pisses me off. So what are you going to do now, huh? You're going to tear me to shreds with that sword of evil's bane? Sounds great. Do it. Come on, do it. Even if I did tear you to shreds, your body would simply regenerate. I suspect it's your connection to Arjuna's nigh infinite supply of magical energy that forces to do so. Then, once your body is cursed again, it is subjected to endless torment for all of eternity. <laughs> but fortunately for you, I know a way to do something about that curse. What'd you just say? Rama and a boy! Water sausage. Yeah, I silly water sausage. I like clam. I eat thing. Rama! Hey, you were supposed to gaze at me in awe and admiration here. What are you? Don't pat my head. I'm a king. I deserve far more respect than that. Hello, Crest Chat Man. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> you and your damn nonsense pissing me off. What the hell? What the hell can you even do about this curse? This. Stir, stir bin, stir bin, stir bin. Ugh, this is quite something, isn't it? Uh, welcome, Savage Gamers, Savage Gamers VT, to the SS Otterboldy Traveler. Please enjoy your vacation. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what did you just do? Don't tell me you. <clears throat> Uh, Krishna and I are both avatars of Vishnu, basically beings of the same nature. <coughs> so if your curse comes from Krishna's power, I should be more than capable of affecting it. It's like a square where Konyasaka is Tamamo, but Tamamo is not Konyasaka. Yes. Yes. Because technically she is her own entity. She has her own, like, personality, and it's all the, kind of all the bad parts of Tamamo became that. While I can't completely destroy it, of course, I can at least transfer it from your body to mine. Uh, ow, 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 ow. I, I, am, I am the Invincible King. I am not to complain about the pain from a little curse like this. If you just heard otherwise, then I suggest you have your ears checked. Rama! Oh, Rama, you absolute baby! Oh, welcome, welcome aboard! Uh, make the world cute to the SS Otterworldly Traveler. Please enjoy your vacation. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, y you are out of your mind! Ugh! I can't stand that. That sort of simpering, self-sacrificing nonsense. If you subject me to any more of this, I'm going to start demanding compensation. Which one is that, Sunadair? No, this one's just bitchy. I like to call this one Tamama no Mini. Or Tamama no Bitchy. She's kind of evil. She's evil, but she's a evil in the fun way. So, like, she's she's a sassy bitch, and she knows it, so she doubles down. She do be kind of funny, though. There's one for each tail. Yes, there are nine of them. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? Are you stupid or something? Damn it, this pisses me off. I'm still just as angry as ever. If I don't have anything being about being held hostage to my damn curse anymore, then there's no holding me back. Arjuna was always my mortal enemy. Even before he made himself into some kind of god, there's no way in hell I'm not going to revolt against him. But 
What's the whole damn point of me being free of my curse if you just end up being cursed in my place? All you're doing is gaining one guy and losing another. It's simple math, damn it. Oh, you freaking piss me off. Don't be, don't be ridiculous. Of course I've thought of that. Whew. And as an avatar of Vishnu, Krishna's curse shouldn't hold effect on me as much as it did on you. Mm. Yep. Let's just say it brings me down to about half my normal strength. But in exchange for that strength, we get a Vatsman, hero of the Kuravas, a man who is not only exceptionally skilled warrior, but tactician clever enough to serve as a commander. Chief, let's say you are a servant who can fulfill more than just one role. Yeah, Wiggle! Yeah, Wiggle, 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 Wiggle. Okay, one second. Do Wiggle. Do Wiggle. Wiggle, Wiggle, 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 Wiggle. Hey. Wiggle, Wiggle, Wiggle. Wiggle, Wiggle, Wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> hey, watch this. Watch, 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 watch. I'm gonna pet chat with my ear, okay? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'm petting you. I'm petting you as hard as I can. I'm trying to pet. Pet, 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 pet. There, see? I pet. I petted you. You have been petted. Please accept one ear petting. <gasps> now I've been pet. <laughs> so, while we might have lost half a warrior, we've effectively gained two to make up for it. That's a next gain of at least one and a half warriors. <sighs> Sir, why are you glaring at me? And please put on a shirt. Um, oh no, there's a hot man talking to me. Hi. Hi. Uh, <clears throat> it's fine. We could do this. We could do this. We could do this. We, we have dealt with attractive men speaking to us before. <clears throat> All right, I'm ready. You. This guy's your servant, right? Does that mean I should be angry at you? Please do. Uh, go Manasari! I'm cute, please don't hurt me! Uh, <clears throat> at, at, at any rate, can I please ask something just to be sure? Uh, a Svatis man? Um, now that you're not cursed anymore, you no longer have a reason to obey Arjuna, right? Um, so does that mean that you're willing to help us now? Why'd you go and ask that for? You went and reminded me of how completely pathetic I've been. Hmm. I never expected Rama to take on the curse himself, but the benefits of the trade-off may well outweigh the drawbacks. Having Arjuna's last Lokapala come to our side would be quite the boon indeed. What's that look supposed to mean? Ex-master, if you want to laugh at me. Go ahead. It'll just give me another reason to be angry. Oh, it's not that. I was just thinking of how... You really are just how you appear through my... Tashinitsu. You wear your heart on your sleeve, so to speak. So that thing rooted deep inside of you is anger and what drove you to the Pandavas in the middle of the night. Hey! Uh, I have to ask, haven't you ever wished you could just, you know, let your anger go? Why? Because it's the whole reason I ended up like this? Yeah, yeah, I know my anger's what ended up getting me cursed by Krishna while I was alive. But you might eventually be able to let go of it if you stayed with uh, Arjuna, right? I doubt that he wanted any defective emotions in his perfect world, after all. <laughs> Now I get it. You think I regret giving up the chance to get rid of this anger, don't you? <laughs> don't be an idiot. Why the hell would I ever regret that? 
That's true, Da Vinci. You've got it backwards. Anger is everything to him right now. In fact, I think he even made sure his anger would be one part of him to stick around constantly providing that he was useful with it. But they were only master and servant for a short time, and they're absolutely nothing alike. And yet, in spite of all that, Pepe and Abatis Man really seem to click. Maybe this is what they call chemistry? Yeah, right now, anger and me are one and the same. It was... The only way I had to avenge my father and my friend's humiliation. If we were back in Kuru... Shetera, when the war was still going on, and they'd been humiliated again, I'd do the same damn thing without hesitating. Every time. I'd have used my anger as a weapon to avenge my father and friend, even if I ended up getting cursed every damn time. Why is, why is there a sweat mark? Uh... Because sometimes I do too much voice acting and uh, Fate Grand Order stream, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to fight the boss this time or beat him. But actually, we have every time so far have one shot each one of the bosses that we've come across. So honestly, go us! <laughs> That'll change soon. Yeah, because I think the last one's Arjuna. The last one's Arjuna, and he's scary. <laughs> Got it. I knew you were an awkward and simple-minded, but I also know that's why I can trust you. Okay, then. Why don't we find somewhere we can relax and maybe figure out our next course of action? You're a tactician too, right? Can't wait to see what you come up with. <laughs> Arjuna's an RNG cheater. You know what? It's true. It's true. Ganesha said so, that he was an RNG cheater. All right, let's... <laughs> look, all I'm saying is that you look like an old man who just threw out his back. I'm... 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 I'm fine. You hear me? My body's just, uh... Hasn't quite adjusted to the curse yet. Just give me a moment. I'll be up and in in no time. You know, we don't have time to wait around. Guess I'll just have to give you a piggyback ride. It, no. All right. Uh, this is degrading, but I do get the feeling that I've had something similar happen to me before. <clears throat> Princess Karen Rama to the sequel. <laughs> Are, am I going to summon on it? Hell yes, I'm going to summon on it. Asking me if I'm going to summon Dadzawa. Look, I may not throw $100 at it, but I do got some coins that I haven't been using. How small is she? She's a, I don't think she's that small. Though it's really not a question of, of height to height. Because I think that Rama himself is not overtly tall. Like, I think he's one of the smaller guys. She is also Ganesha. Yeah, she's also a, she's also a god. <laughs> She's got, like, a god inside of her. So I'm sure she could fucking lift, like, a like a world champion. Welcome to Vi But Potato. Welcome, welcome to the SS Otterworldly Traveler. Please enjoy your vacation, and thank you so much for the uh, follow. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Perhaps it's just part of my destiny to suffer piggyback rides. Now and again. I think she's cute. I think she's adorable. I love her. Have I ever seen Giga's video on Gacha Games? Yes, I have seen the video on Gacha Games. I also saw him spend way too much money just trying to get Alstalfo. <laughs> Lamp of Evil Ceiling. Good job. The effect of Unforgiving World weakened by the rebellion of the Lokopala Avatis Man. Yeah, buddy. So, uh, I think that's where we're gonna end it here, cause we just defeated another boss, and it's been about 4 hours and 30 minutes. So, we're gonna go cheer to the, uh, just chatting screen. ba da ba ba da ba Hi! Yes! You may now see the rest of me! <laughs> and, uh, my tail! Hi, 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 hi! Did you know how often times our bodies are only using about 30% of its physical strength? Oh, welcome, welcome aboard, uh, Planty Prime to the SS Otterworldly Traveler. Please enjoy your vacation. Thank you so much for the follow. I do appreciate it. All right. Yes, I am adorable. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Uh, anyway, so what's going on is that uh, uh, for for the remainder of the week, to uh, to tell you what's going on is I will not be streaming Friday. Um, Thursday, Thursday or Friday, I will not be streaming uh, as usual. But Saturday, during the day, we will be having a movie night for everybody who is in the Discord. Anybody who has a sub who connects their Twitch to their Discord are invited to the Discord movie night. Uh, you have to connect your Discord to your Twitch. Uh, and the connection should be there. If you are subscribed, you can get into the uh, Discord. And we will be doing a movie. Currently, uh, we are voting on the movie. So if you get in the Discord right now, you can vote on the movie. Uh, we we have a list of them. for So go ahead, vote. Uh, and then Saturday night, I will be doing ASMR as for the usual time, 8 p.m. CST to about midnight CST, uh, our Saturday night snooze cruise. And then uh, on Sunday, we will be doing another Discord night uh, but we will be playing Jackbox games, Scribbly.io, and Gartic Phone. And we will be doing that at about noon. So noon on Saturday, movie. Noon on Sunday, uh, video games that we are playing together. Mm -hmm. And that's the schedule for the week. Where is the Discord? You have to connect your Twitch to your Discord. You have to, you have to connect both of them. And then on the side on Discord, it'll have connections. And you will see SS Otterworldly Traveler, and it will allow you to go in. Mm -hmm. So, go in. Vote on what movie you want to watch. And we will be watching a movie, and then we'll be playing some games. And I want to thank everybody so much, my lovely community of silly, shit-posting little gremlins who love Fate Go. <laughs> Yee! And you will get more of me. And uh, then... Um, I will have a special, not this upcoming Sunday, because we're doing, you know, what I just said, but next Sunday, we will have a special stream, and it will be me throwing all of my Saints courts and my wallet at Merlin. It'll be summer, summer for the Merlining. It's happened. I've waited two years for this. <laughs> I will have... I will have my statue. I will have my Nintendoroid. I will have my Merlin plushie. I will. And we are going to pray together that RN Jesus or Lucifer, whoever wants to give it to me, give me the Merlin. Give me the boy. And thank you. Thank you, Dresius. Thank you so much for being now a part of our crew. And I hope to see you on our uh, community nights. Thank you, thank you. What's the command for the Discord? Uh, you have to connect your Twitch to your Discord. There is not a command for it. There is not a link. It is it is a connections thing. You have to connect your Twitch to your Discord. Mm-hmm. And also, thank you, Strippy Olive, for the Atawata. I will take that drink real quick. Say, and if you have any more additional questions, uh, Moto has helped plenty of people get the 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 Twitch and Discord connections figured out. You can quit whenever you want, right? What do you mean? Can I quit Fate Go whenever I want? No, I can't. I can't quit until Merlin's in my hands. Uh, thank you guys so much. But let's see. Let's see. Who are who who is friend that is streaming? We gotta go we gotta go see a friend. Who is friend who is streaming? Let's go see Stream. What are we in the mood for? Uh, I see here we got some Genshin M. We got some we got some Genshin Impact. We got Pokemon Unite. We got Pokemon Sword and Shield. We got some art, of course. What are we in the mood for? The community nights are pretty good. Um, we're we're funny. Oh oh, you mean uh, can you can you quit whenever you want? Uh, sure, you can quit, but I'm gonna let you know until debut happens, uh, the Discord's only for subscribers. Uh, once debut happens, then it's free for everybody, and, uh, subscribers will just get extra goodies. So, we will do a quick lookity-loo, do a poll. You see a cute owl is live? I do see a cute owl is live. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do a poll for what we wanna see, because, you know, there are many friends out in the sea. 
Ooh. Cool raid. Cool raid. We got Genshin. We got Pokemon Unite. Got Pokemon Normally. Uh, we have some art. And last but not least, ASMR for those of you who want some comfy coziness. And we got two minutes on the clock. This is not a bitsocracy. No additional votes. Only one vote. But come on, bring it in. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> I was just joking about whaling and Faco. See, um, Merlin's the only one I'm gonna whale on. Merlin is the only one I would whale on. He is, I have waited two years for him. I got 900 Saints Courts to my name. I want him. I want the boy. I've waited for him. He eluded me the first time. I will have him. All of, all of, all of, all of my, uh... <laughs> I have waited. I've done 12 years of waiting in Azkaban. <laughs> Are you going for the NP2 plus? I am going to throw all of my Saints Quartz at him. If I just get one Merlin, I will call it a day and be happy. Is one Saints Quartz, one Summon? No, no, no. Three Saints Quartz per Summon. It is 30 Saints Quartz for a 10 pull. And I've got 900 to my name. It used to be a lot more, but uh, King Protea and uh, Summer BB did eat up a lot of it. But I am, I am excited. I am very excited. I waited two years. Plus, there's also tickets. There's also tickets that I will be getting. I will be getting tickets. And one ticket is one Summon. So hopefully I will get the five tickets. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we got here. We got three, three. Th Come on, guys. We can't have a tiebreaker. We cannot have a tiebreaker. Come on. Come on. Vote, vote, vote. If you don't vote, you can't, bitch. That's how that works. As I know, as an American, that's how that shit works. <laughs> So if I vote, I can bitch. Yes! I hope he comes sooner than later. Me too. All right. Looks like it is art. Which means I am going to be raiding good friend. Adudu. Adudu. Lita. Adorable. Fallen angel. Succubus. VTuber. Sweetheart has given me so much love i cannot wait <laughs> that merlin png must be acquired yes so that was that was pretty much everything for uh for the week i hope to see you guys on the discord nights well discord afternoons discord brunch <laughs> brunch with the captain we're going to the captain's table and we're having brunch i will have a mimosa and i will have my uh, salmon salmon lox eggs benedict lox benedict that's what I will be having. Discord branch with all of you. Lovely. Yes, mm, quite. <laughs> morn, morn evening. It will be brunch for me. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you guys so much. I love you all. I have been happy to do all of this for you guys. I know it's been a long time coming. But anyway, thank you guys so much. I have been Pearl the Otter, your sea otter sea captain. Uh... I will hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye now. Mwah!